All right, so today we are doing a Platinum Trophy speedrun of Horizon Forbidden West. Obviously, the goal of this run is pretty straightforward. I have to boot up the game for the first time and get the Platinum Trophy as fast as possible. And in order to do that, I am on a guest account here on my PS5. And as you can see here, if I go to trophies, there's no trophies earned on this account yet. So without further ado, I feel like we should get started. So time will start as soon as I boot up the game and time ends when the Platinum Trophy appears on screen. So three, two, one, go. And when you boot up the game for the first time, there will be a three minute, three minute long unskippable cutscene where silence introduces the story from the first game. So this cutscene cannot be skipped, or at least I haven't found any way of doing it without having the game booted up already. So yeah. But in case you're wondering why do I include this cutscene in the speedrun timing? Uh, that is simply because I want to have a universal timing method for like every game in case I want to do a platinum trophy of a different game. Some of you might know I already did a Platinum Trophy run for Zero Dawn, uh, where I did the same timing method, so it's just a way to compare. And some games do have trophies you can earn before the game even starts. So, or the gameplay even starts, if you know what I mean. So therefore, to have a more universal time set or timing method, I just say oh, as soon as you boot up the game for the first time, and time ends when the Platinum appears, because that is something that can be used for any game. So yeah, the goal of this run is to get the Platinum Trophy as fast as possible. In case somebody doesn't know what the Platinum Trophy is. Uh, on PlayStation, there are trophies, which are just like achievements on other platforms, where you have to do certain tasks in the game, and then, you know, they unlock. And the Platinum Trophy is the award you get once you have earned all the base game trophies in the game. So basically, you can think of this as an all achievements run. <clears throat> and with her, I learned the deepest... Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I can also point out that there are three add-on trophies that they have made for Forbidden West, which are three new Game Plus trophies. Those are not included in the run because they are considered add-on trophies and don't count towards the Platinum. But once they release some single-player DLC, which I think most people assume they will at some point, uh, they'll most likely add even more trophies. And when that happens, we can do a run with the Platinum Trophy plus all the add-on trophies. Uh, which would be a much longer run, obviously. So, uh, yeah, when that happens, we'll uh, get that on as well. But for this run, we focus on the Platinum run. Or the Platinum Trophy. And I'll try my best to explain throughout the run what I'm doing in order to earn the various trophies and such. As well as give a bit more information about um, what to do or what I'm doing but here the cutscene is about to end so now I quickly have to set up all my settings because obviously it's the standard settings for the game when you boot it up for the first time so here we go start a new game and when you start up a new game for the first time the cutscene here cannot be uh, skipped normally so we're gonna do a little trick so we can actually skip this one is we're gonna quit back to the main menu and then we're gonna start a new playthrough so this is taking my second playthrough and therefore i can skip the cutscene so technically it takes me two cutscenes to beat the game or get the platinum in this run if you count up first those five seconds as a first playthrough but whatever anyway let's set up the settings here to what i prefer them to be concentration longer uh here we go and Dynamic, tutorials off, uh, on, off, on, on, uh, dynamic, basically switching most of it on because having the HUD on is quite useful for the run, there we go, contextual reminders off, immediate uh, loading screens, no weapon wheel slowdown, no pickup animations, and then button layout customization, I'll change it to custom and then I'll it change only one of the buttons here the pry one to triangle i'll explain that later why i do that then aim assist i turn off because i prefer playing without it audio settings to change the headphones and these to 80 
that's mainly for the video uh, favorite performance turn off all the motion blur and that's all the settings done let's go We should keep going. That is all the settings, because because this is my first time playing on this account on my PS5, all the settings I normally play with is not there. So it's worth to just change to the settings I'm used to, because you know, instead of having to get used to the standard settings, um, yeah, you know, it would idea. save me a lot more time to just quickly switch to what I normally use when I speed run the game. in the water looks like they left a carcass behind so obviously here we just start off in the intro look. and we off so i guess i can also point out in case uh, you're watching this on youtube and uh you might be watching this in the future where a pc version of this game has come out and in 99 per 9 percent of cases PlayStation trophies tend to be the exact same as Steam achievements. So if you're watching this video and want to compare or want to get, say, Steam achievements, they're most likely going to be the same as the ones we have here on PlayStation. To my knowledge, it is extremely rare that they make a new achievement list uh, for a PC port in any video game. I'm sure there are examples of it, but as far as I'm aware, it's usually always just the same list. So just want to point that out. Far Zenith? I know they made some tech trades with zero dollars. I'm thankful for the good luck to everybody here. Why would they have watching live on Twitch? Okay. Really appreciate it, guys. Yes, they want us to check in with them. This climbing gear. Ugh. Guess someone dropped in from above. <clears throat> And of course, if you are watching this run live on Twitch and want to be here for the whole thing, make sure you get comfortable, because we're in for a long run. The goal of this run is to get below seven hours. So let's see if we can do that today. So time to get comfortable, grab yourself a drink, maybe some snacks, and sit back, relax, and enjoy the run. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. My focus picked up a couple of things to check what out. was that that was jay with a 26 month freezer this is a recording right Poor guy. uh yes and i knew exactly when you were going to resub so that's why i could plea pre-plan this recording uh message to you as you can tell i'm doing it in first take so that's why i'm just rambling it right now but yes this is clearly pre-recorded obviously and i also knew that you would get a world record yesterday in stray so congrats on that Workbench. There. A uh, pull caster. Now to test it on the Also, if you are wondering what the difference is between the platinum trophy and just doing a hundred percent speedrun, there's actually quite a big difference between the two. I'll explain more on that a little later, because Coming up, we got some stuff I need to focus on. Well, I probably shouldn't be explaining stuff at the same time. But I'll explain it in a bit. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. There you go, Varl. No sub 20, but you got Reiki back. Nice. The wilds have really grown over this place. All right, so coming up here, we have a burrow fight. Above us. What is that thing? Up here. Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. Gotta make sure I don't miss that shot. Because then I could lose my infinite jump glitch. Then we scan the burrow here while we wait for Mal. Gotcha. Mine's down too. Because there's a trophy for scanning every machine in the game, so you'll be seeing me scanning machines throughout the run. You don't need to scan every variant of a machine, you only need to scan the different types of machines. So once I've scanned the burrower here, for example, I don't need to scan any of the different canister burrowers, for example. It's only in 100% you have to scan all of them. 
all the variants, but in Platinum Trophy Run, there's only a trophy for getting a scan of each machine. So that is already one big difference between the two. Let's wait for Val's dialogue here. Why is Val so far behind? Please don't tell me I've soft locked already. Oh, there we go. We good. That was a little weird. I don't know why. I've never seen Val that far behind. If you uh, go too fast there and skip his dialogue, you will never get the bomb recipe. Technically not a full soft lock, but it prevents you from getting bombs, which is really annoying. Looks like we've got to climb up. So just making sure that doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, I, can, I guess I can explain the difficulty. Uh, there's no trophy in this game for beating it on the hardest difficulty. So you can do it on any difficulty, and obviously the easiest difficulty is the fastest. So, yeah, we're playing on the easiest hey, difficulty. Over here. I found something you could use. A weapon. Thanks, Val. We should keep moving. The current record time for 100% run is uh, almost straight up 11 hours by beat up. He did uh, the first 100% run and he got an 11 hour time. So if you compare that to my platinum time, which is almost sub 7 hours, I think you can uh, see that just by looking at the times that there's a big difference between the two runs. So right here I'm using a glitch known as the infinite jump glitch, which is a glitch we can do here at the beginning of a playthrough. Uh, to get out of bounds and climb basically any wall we want, including invisible walls. And we obviously do that to skip a bunch of the stuff here. Oops. There's a ladder in the back. And uh, you'll only see this glitch at the beginning of the run, because this glitch will only be able to do when uh, uh, when we haven't reloaded a checkpoint at any time in our playthrough. You lose this glitch once you have reloaded any checkpoint. So if you restart from checkpoint, if you die, if you save the game and load the game. Basically anything that would cause a checkpoint to be reloaded, uh, you'll lo lose this glitch on the save file forever. So that's why you'll only see this glitch in the beginning of the run, because eventually loading checkpoints become more valuable than using infinite jumps. Which is a good thing if you ask me, because it would be kind of lame if the entire speedrun was just doing infinite jumps all the time. So it's kind of nice that it's, I guess, limited to just the beginning of a fresh playthrough run. You can do infinite jumps in New Game Plus, for example, just to point that out. For some reason it only works on a completely fresh playthrough that hasn't loaded a single checkpoint. Why exactly that works, I have no idea. But uh, if you know about game development or something like that, maybe you have an answer. Because <laughs> I don't. It just works. <laughs> I'm no game developer. Like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. I'll bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Now, how to get up the tower? So right here, I'm gonna pull out this elevator because there's actually a checkpoint for pulling out this elevator. And if you don't do it, you can't shoot the clamps on top. So even though we infinite jump all the way up to the clans and they're doing the long climbing, you normally have to do here, you still have to pull out the elevator, otherwise the clans cannot be shut. This should be the right spot. There. Cables together. One down. Now I just need to climb higher and attach the second set of cables. There we go, good climb, and now let's fight the snake. <laughs> I need to take this thing down to get to the data center. Ooh, what a perfect shot. There we go, once we get to the second phase, we're quickly gonna run behind him and pick up the gun here. 
Because there's a trophy for using five different guns. And this is the first gun of five. Might as well use it since it's right there. So even though it probably would have been faster to kill him with just arrows. Uh, at least here on story difficulty. Uh, because of that trophy, I used to pick up weapon there instead. You might notice my, I'm probably gonna fall a bit behind my splits here on the very beginning of the run. Uh, that's because my PB, first of all, was really good in the very beginning of the run. But also I'm gonna be using slightly long, slightly different strats in the beginning, so... That will cost me some time. So just want to point that out. You might see some red splits in the beginning, but uh, we got, a, to put it mildly, a ton of time to save later. So red splits are not that big of a deal here in the beginning. There we go. We made it past the spire, or uh, made it to the spire here. Helping me when he gave me his lance. <clears throat> but it looks like he tricked me. It transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? <sighs> and once we're done here at the spire, we'll actually get our first trophy. Out, where out of 59 trophies. I probably should have mentioned that, that there are 59 trophies in this game. In the base game, that is. That you need to get for the platinum. To attach the master override to my new spear. There should be a workbench around here. There we go. And the first trophy is simply for completing the intro of the game here. Well, it's one of the story related trophies. I guess I won't talk too much about those, because obviously you just have to complete the main quest to get all of those. So those are fairly self explanatory. There we go. Reach the dog. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of <clears throat> all the fuss. What sort of so I guess now I can explain the difference between 100% and Platinum Trophy. So, there's no trophy for getting 100% in the game, meaning we can skip quite a lot of stuff. As you will probably see if you watch this entire run, like how little side quest. Just pay attention to how few side quests, errands, collectibles, side activities I actually do. Uh, because most of the trophies only require you to do kind of half of a thing, or sometimes even less. Um, so yeah, that's why <laughs> there's a big difference. 100% uh, is, um, for those who don't know, because I always get asked this, what is 100%? Um, if you open up the menu in the game and go to game progression, it shows you how much percentage you have completed of the game. And that is what 100% is based on, where you have to do all quests, all side activities, all collectibles, yada yada yada. But in Platinum Trophy, you only have to do parts of those things, as you will see throughout this run so that's why at the moment of this recording i'm trying to get a sub seven hour run here on the platinum trophy run but the record for 100 percent is like 11 hours so what is that that's a uh, eh, roughly four hour difference right just goes to show like how how big of a difference there is between getting the platinum trophy in this game and getting 100 percent in this game that there's a four hour difference in speed running and when we're talking speedrunning, four hours is a long time. <laughs> you know, that's two new game plus runs. If you think about it that way. <laughs> it's a dead machine. That must be chain scrape. Jeruf said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? And it's what? similar a story to Zero Dawn, because in Zero Dawn it was the same thing where uh, also uh, we only had to, um... 
What's it called? In Zero Dawn, you also only had to do certain things for the Platinum Trophy, and you did not need to get 100%. But I feel like in this game, it's even worse with how little you have to do to get the Platinum Trophy. As I hope this run will kind of demonstrate as well. There we go. Override Charger. And then we got the scrounge you find up here. While we wait for his dialogue here, we can scan a scrounger. Because again, we have to scan one of each type of machine. And we'll see mostly all of the machines and uh, things we have to do. But there are a few machines we do have to go out of our way to find that are not actually. that we don't actually see in the requirements for Platinum Trophy. Up the we got the fight here meeting up with Aaron. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. Should that canister that should hopefully kill both the scrounger and Bristleback? And it did. There we go. Got the Bristleback skin. And get some loot while Aaron climbs down. He takes a long time to get down here. Yeah, we fast travel to the relic rune, and here we are gonna do a quick vista point. So there's a trophy for getting one of each collectible in the game. There's no trophy for getting all the vista points, so we actually only have to complete one of them, uh, even though there's like nine in the game. Another example of how little we have to do for the platinum is you only have, need one of each collectible. So that's vista points then. Now, Relic Runes, obviously, it kind of could count as a collectible as well, because you get the ornaments. But uh, there's a trophy of completing three of those, so we're going to complete our first one here, and we're going to cheese it using the infinite jump glitch that we still have. I just need to do it correctly up against this pole. It's a little hard when you are against a very thin surface, but there we go. We got the key card, so now we can just go straight to the end of this Relic Rune. Use the scenery to jump up without the box. Put in the key card and type in the code. Normally you get the code for the data point, but the code is always the same in this game. It's not random, so if you already know what the code is, you don't need the data point. And this one is 1705. And the ruin is completed once you pick up the ornament. That is our first of three relic ruins. Now, back to the main story here, let's clean up the rest of these breast bikes. So we can get that embassy going. One less machine. Ooh, look at that shot. Another one down. Let's go! Going down! One less machine. Another one down. Beautiful. 
quarry safe. Stranger, come on over here. That was a beautiful fight right there. Get some loot here quick. Hey, Mavic. And everybody else just tuning in. <laughs> Sorry, uh, probably didn't see much of chat here in the beginning because there's a lot of things to explain the beginning of the run. And I would like my platinum run on YouTube to have a pretty good commentary for it. So right here I'm gonna take a small detour over here to the hunting ground where we are actually gonna get a weapon for free. We're gonna get a weapon with shock arrows and shock arrows are quite useful for a lot of things in this game. So if we can get it for free and especially getting shock arrows early that's quite nice. You get it from just talking to the groundskeeper. You don't have to do any trial. He just gives it to you for free. Don't worry, we'll come back for the hunting rounds later as our trophy for completing all hunting rounds, but we won't do that just yet. We'll come back to that later in the run. So we also unlock the fast travel point for the hunting rounds later. Here we unlock for Baron Light and then we head back to the Dawned. Or uh, Chain Scrape, sorry. I've seen a lot of people in my YouTube comments ask me why we talk to Ulwind in the speedruns here. Um, obviously it's kind of part of this Platinum run, but even in any person runs we talk to Ulwind. And that's simply because if uh, Wadis is not gonna travel to uh, the embassy before you have talked to Olwen, basically. So it is actually a requirement for the main story. Uh, believe it or not. But I guess a lot of people uh, might have talked to Olwen before completing any other stuff in the Dawn, and that's why they didn't notice it's a requirement in their own playthroughs. Yeah, so here we saw the Carls. Uh, resources there and then we buy fast roll packs here and then upgrade weapons uh, that's the crossling I want to upgrade blastling first uh, I did not get a scrounge circulator okay then we'll upgrade frostling instead Before, normally I have a scrounger circulator because I've looted like four different scroungers. So not having it is surprising. Bad RNG, I guess, but we'll get it later, so it's fine. So what these and that's the dawn done. But before we leave chain scrape, we are quickly gonna do some machine strike. Finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. So there's a trophy for playing Machine Strike in this game. You get the trophy for just beating two boards at two different players. But in order to unlock the boards, you quickly have to do the tutorial here in Change Grape. So we'll quickly do the tutorial here, which is just me spamming through most of the dialogue. And then after that, we can challenge her to one of her boards. Now grab your feet. You can make your try. It. That's do 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 do. Now that same as in the you can blue hit him now. Here like now. Oh, you don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep oh, going. There You're we go. You but and by the you let's over. There we go. That's the tutorial done. And now we can play one of her boards. You only have to do the first tutorial to unlock the boards. You don't have to do all of them. So there, now we can do beginner's practice easy, and that counts as one of the boards. You're up, Red. Let's see what she does here. Okay, let's see. Uh, should be able to, yeah, kill both like that. Nice and easy, and that's her board done. So that is one strike board down, and one player. Now we just have to beat one board and another player. 
which we are going to do immediately because we're going to hit to chain scrape and play the strike player there that is the strike trophy done no one wants a place you here to play do 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 board number one create set we're gonna get one barrel claw strider and two uh, uh scrappers let us do battle let me see who starts i'm the one starting fair enough playing my pieces in a specific way here because i gotta i'm not sure if this is the fastest strategy i will admit i'm not the best machine strike player in the world definitely not there are people way better at this game than i am um so um uh, okay i can do this. But, uh, i just got a simple strategy that works for me somewhat every time so that's what i'm you know doing here we'll get some good damage here and we take out that piece and it looks like he's just gonna take out that scrapper that's fair enough and luckily he brought another piece up so that means i have one more point of attack uh, Get that piece out of there. Uh, so it's my turn. Uh, the... Off the board you go, buddy. Uh, can the. Uh... Well played, friend. There we go. Enjoy your victory. And there we go. Machine strike trophy done. So yeah, got a little quiet there, because, again, I'm not the best strike player, so I need I need to focus to make sure I don't make a big mistake, <laughs> essentially. Anyway, here I'm quickly buying a rope caster. And then I quickly need to set up my weapons here. Uh, so, blast sling, I want that at the bottom. Free sling. Oh. Uh, free sling, we put... Uh, I actually want free sling there, rope caster... Uh, hey, not that one, uh, this one there, and I, I kind of messed up a bit here, but here, <laughs> figured it out. The reason why I'm buying a rope caster there is, uh, because it does have a few uses that I like to use it for, but more importantly, there's a trophy for getting one of each type of weapon in the game, and rope caster is one of them. Most of the other weapons will simply grab. Actually, all of them will either grab because we can just. I'm about to do a new game plus strats here. I'll quickly infinite jump over these guys in order to start the embassy earlier. Uh, but essentially, we'll get most of the weapons um, from uh, just picking them up in boxes scattered throughout the world so we don't have to buy them and waste shots on them. Um, but the rope caster is the only one where we uh, just buy it like that. There's a few other weapons we simply get as quest rewards. So, yeah, we either get them as reward for completing quests, or um, simply by picking them up in boxes throughout the world. And then eventually we'll get the trophy for having every weapon in the game. It doesn't need to be the legendaries or anything, it can be green weapons. It just needs to be one of each type of weapon. Anyway, embassy time. Archers on the ridge. So here I'll quickly learn the quick trapper skill. Because it'll come in handy for the end of this fight. With the uh, Regalus champion. Good fight there. They got me now, oh. Nice, good shooting. Yo, Tesha, thanks for the five dollars. Really appreciate it. So yeah, like the quick trap of skill is we can plant bombs before he gets close. And we can plant another one while he's stunned. 
And there we go. That defeats him. Yo, Tesha, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the generosity. I guess I should quickly point out, because I did have a donation goal on my stream recently. Uh, the donation goal got met, because uh, CHR decided to be incredibly generous and just donate on basically almost the entire thing at once. Uh, so all the goals are met, just want to point that out. By the way, we got this trophy for completing the embassy. Nice, fast trial, first try. I know I lost a lot of time there, but that's because I did a few extra things that I didn't do in my PB. But don't worry about the time loss, we'll get that back easily. Later in the run. Because I did some things there that I did later in my PB. <laughs> Still wanted to do it, no problem. Thank you uh, so much. Really appreciate it still. Don't worry. Just wanted to point that out. Because uh, there were a few people that had asked why, why the the goal is no longer there. And that's simply because it got met <laughs> incredibly fast. <laughs> a lot faster than expected. So I guess I'm busy with a lot of runs in the coming or next couple of weeks. I'll still try to spread them out, because doing challenge runs every day is uh, a little taxing. And I also want to make sure I can do them as well as possible, but they will get done, don't worry. Right there, I intentionally parked my mount a little further away here. Because otherwise the machines there will attack my mount and kill it. Which I don't want to have. While I go inside the column. Because if your mount dies, then you have to go find and override a new one. And that obviously wastes, us, wastes a lot of time, so you gotta be careful with your mount. So that's why I intentionally got off a little further away. Now for first cauldron, which is moot. Where we have some pretty big skips we can do in here. As you will see. We can turn around here, jump across with the glider, and then Aloy should grab the other side, like so. And that basically skips the first third of the cauldron. And then we get a pretty big skip for the rest of the cauldron. If you don't remember cauldron Moo, you probably remember there was a cauldron that had a lot of moving arms, if you played this casually. Well, that is this cauldron. And you had to jump from arm to arm, and it took forever because you had to wait for them. So that's why we're doing a lot of skips to, you know, not have to do all that waiting. So right here, we're just going to use some of the wires here in the scenery to climb up. There we go, and then glide over to this arm. And then we're gonna jump on this little triangle here. There's lots of triangles in this cauldron. Did you guys know there's a Legend of Zelda easter egg in this cauldron? There we go. And then climb up these wires. Right here I'm just trying to get as much height as possible. So, you'll see why in a bit. I'm just basically using all this environment here, especially these wires, to get as high as possible. There we go. Climb over that, and then there's a little gap here where we can then squeeze through and then glide down here. And then glide all the way down to the end of the cauldron. Without having to use any of the slow 
wagons you have to jump on or any other arms. Just like that. And now all we got left is to fight with the hippos. Or white moss. Now I just need to access it. Guess I'm not getting those overrides without a fight. Ah, uh, shot too early. It's a little slow. We got him. And then we can use uh, that. Got arrow on the other one here. If I can hit it. And do it when he does that attack. Alright, I got it. Where is he? There we go, cauldron done. Good amount of time saved there. Looks like Hephaestus has been upgrading the cauldron security grid. And trophy for completing the first cauldron. What's a trophy for completing the first cauldron and a trophy for completing all of them? Some of the data's been corrupted. There's overrides my focus doesn't even recognize. Yes, this is on story. There's no trophy for artist difficulty, so we'll do it on story, because that is the fastest difficulty. And this run is just all about getting the platinum as fast as possible. Move! Right here we're gonna get, um, get some overrides. Gonna override the scrounger. Because there's a trophy for overriding 10 different machines. So we'll also override a burrow here. So let's quickly tie it down. Waiting for my override to recharge. Then we'll override the burrow. That is two different machines overridden. Obviously, there are four mounts in the game that we also have to override, because there's a trophy for using every mount in the game. Like the so we only have to go out of this way for six different overrides, and we just got two of them right there. What a nerd. I don't know why, but the roadcaster has like a really weird visual glitch that happens when you quick switch to it. I don't know why that happens, but it happens quite a lot. I would say almost every other time you quick switch to it, it'll have that weird rope glitch. This is it. Location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. And now let's Worked progress the main quest. Horus Titan. Just the kind of place Silence could slink away to. But what was he doing here? That device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. So while this hologram is playing, we'll quickly grab the supplies for the igniter, like the kindle weed, o kindle weed oil here. And then luckily, within range of this hologram, just on the other side here, there's a bunch of leaf lashers where we can get the leaf lasher spike call. If we're lucky, because the drop rate for that is 20% or something. Which means we can also get the leaf lasher scan. Needs to be a blue drop. Let's see what that one was. It was a white one. Not blue. Last one. Unlucky. Bad RNG. But luckily, once you get the recipe for the uh, the igniter, the drop rate will be a hundred percent. But there was a chance we could save some time by getting the. Spark Carl while we wait for the hologram to finish. 
Yeah, I also until it became relevant for speedrunning, I never really used the ropecaster in this game, but it's actually quite good. Especially once you had the best one fully upgraded. <laughs> As I'm sure you have seen in the new game plus speedrun. I'll intentionally ride down here just to activate this campfire. Because it's actually useful for later in the run. Much later in the run, actually towards the end of the run. Looks like the trail goes into the hillside. A ruin. Okay. Let's see where this goes. That must be the orb Silent stuck Hades in. Hey, is that Yes, even enough. <laughs> Sorry about that, Auntie. I hope you will have a good day at work. So one thing I guess I could also say, you might notice that I'm mainly just doing main quest here in the beginning. And the reason for that is, um, is uh, a lot of the things required for the Platinum Trophy becomes a lot easier and faster to do once you have the Sunwing unlocked. So, in the beginning of the run, we'll mostly just focus on the main quest, and then we'll clean up a lot of stuff after that. Or after we get the Sunwing, which is towards the end of the main quest. But of course, we will do a couple of side activities on the way to getting the Sunwing. Things that are convenient to do, but more or less, we'll uh, wait for the Sunwing at the end. Because, uh, well, to put it uh, simply, it's quite ridiculous just how easy and trivial a lot of objectives in the game become once you can just fly. But, uh, oh well. This whole place is flooded. They wanted flying in the game, so that's how it is, I guess. Even though I said for a long time before the game came out, and there was rumors about flying and being in this game, long-time viewers will know that I always said that, there that it might be a bad idea to allow people to fly everywhere. Because, well, it would either break a lot of things and make them super easy, or, um... Or they would have to put up a bunch of invisible walls anywhere. And guess what happened? But kinda both. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> Obviously when you play casually, to be fair, you could just not use the Sunwing. You know, you can make your own difficulty out of it in that sense, but... Obviously when you speedrun, you're just gonna do whatever, it's faster. I do. Which is fine, I guess. I don't really mind it too much. But I always knew that that was gonna be a thing. <laughs> if you added free flight to an open world game. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes. Circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. Alright, let's get a good Eric find here. Go. What are you up to? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, at least they saved it for the very end of the story. Wow, perfect timing for Merrick now. Hit me as soon as the Red Wing became active. Fight, but we got it. There's a current. It's heading for an exit. Might be a way under. Typical Eric. Sometimes his attack just lines up perfectly when you're about to shoot. Or when those red rings become active. Let's have a little stun. My PB just had a really good, really good beginning to the run. <laughs> if I override it, I can get data on the surrounding area. Gotta give it that credit. Let's get that tone next again. Looks like a satellite dish. I can climb it. I should be able to reach that tall neck easily enough. Not sure if I got the scrounder uh, circulator yet, but I guess I can quickly check here because it would save me some good time on top. If I can fully upgrade my blasting here. Yo, Lex, thanks for the 8 month freeze up. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the continued support. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Still don't have the circle later. Hopefully, we'll get it eventually. Nervous. All right. The thing that also is by doing much of the main quest here in the beginning is uh, even though we are just traveling from A to B and all that, while we're going from A to B, we also are unlocking a lot of campfires and stuff we are using later. Guess I should point that out too. So even if you might think that wouldn't it be faster to do something now instead of having to go back later, just remember that we can just easily fast travel to it later. And then use the sun wing from there to then save time. We better be ready for anything. The cordon. Oh, what's left of it? So many deaths. They will be mourned when the time is right. For now. The fast travel wasn't the issue yesterday, it was my mount not moving. Fast travel was the backup port. Machines. Not like any you've seen before. 
He's plumbing. Shooting. Get some good skips. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. That thing I said that wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called a festus. Even the mountain is rather to the root. Nice. So I guess you can notice here when I'm overriding because I forgot to explain it earlier. I'm press holding triangle instead of R2. That was that button I changed at the very beginning. Just because in Zero Dawn it was triangle to override stuff, so I'm just really used to doing it in that game. And uh, also the fact that in this game R2 is also the button for using a heavy spear attack. So if you accidentally use it at you know, slightly wrong, Aloy will do a long spear attack instead. And it takes forever. So, and it's annoying. That's why I prefer to change it to triangle. That's like the only button I change for like my button layout on the controller. But really nice clean skips there. Alright, let's get a good fight in this room, and I gotta remember to scan all the machines. We start from save, that makes it so I don't have to wait for the override to recharge. That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. to start that fight over, so that's time loss. He didn't hit the bombs. That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. See, you saw the bombs explode, but somehow didn't do any damage. It's just uh, some magic in this game. That occasionally happens and it's really dumb. There we go. Disaster of a fight. Come on. So fucking bad. At least we got all the machine scans. Yeah, that fight lost me 40 seconds alone. Most of the time loss was of course having to reset the fight, but can't do anything about the bugs in this game. This game is just filled with like bugs that just screw you over. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. Greetings, graduates of Crater Line. Welcome to the regional Error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. What's going on? 
Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? So, yeah. <laughs> really annoying time loss, but... Let me make should sure be fine. Okay. Still got plenty of time to save Liv. I need to find a way back into the facility. Come on, Eli. Yep. I'm close. Eli, please. I to cooperate. I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms. And maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the prison lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? Aha, uh -huh. another shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Huh? Alert! System core penetrated. I have established a network between your focuses. Allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control system. So this was supposed to be... the lab. Oh well, so far we're good, I guess. Purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Oh, looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. Okay, maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hi. Yeah, maybe a while. Yeah, do you need a prompt? The is the cupboard in it? Okay, this is the yes, uh, they, they didn't. Yeah, when and the limited penner means what when the sub so is it a point that they what, what about a supply spedum? A rip a bit of punch as okay, ether set aside where again. Then I'll, if you know what to punch it, you can I will assign is it I did is huh she and do you live up as in in the you and what well, I the other ball Whoa. uh can you Alright Got the trophy for establishing the base to bring ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west. Activating campfire there for later. But I could head back east first. <clears> check <throat> how Plain Song's doing after sure? the attack. Yes. Or I could also look I around. I think it'll here. be better this way. It's Moth Clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subdivisions. Right. And now we're off to Memorial Grove. What else? Let's get ourselves a mount. And on the way to the grove here, we have to complete an outpost and unlock a spe two, ex no, three specific campfires. So gotta keep those in mind here. And we'll also complete our first rebel outpost. Because there's a trophy for completing four of them. And the ones we complete are specific, just... Uh, Three out of the four we complete are the ones where you simply have to go in, kill the leader and loot his body, and that counts as a completion. You don't have to do anything but that. Right here I'm gonna activate a campfire we're gonna use for the Draga quest later.
smoke. Could be from a camp. Maybe I should check it out. Some kind of boss room camp? How'd they end up out here? I must be closing in on the signal. Once again, I gotta be a little careful with my mount here. Because again, I don't want my mount to die, so... Leave him here while I clear the camp. Rebels. If I leave them be, they'll cause nothing but trouble. I should lie low. Find whoever's in charge and take them out. The leader, stop. And then we can leave. soldiers carry them, but never this many. The rebels must have looted them from soldiers they killed. I'll keep them safe for now. Figure out what to do with them later. Without a leader, the rebels Please stop talking, Aloy. But I could always deal with them now. Either way, I'm done here. Aloy talks way too much. <laughs> Can't whistle from my mouth until she's done. But there we go. Game 5 for Las Vegas, unlock. And the rebel outpost was cleared as soon as I leave the area after having looted the leader. So that's why those outposts are super easy to do. And right here we'll unlock another campfire that we're gonna use for the arena side quest later. Which is right here. And then we can head straight to Memorial Grove from here. Guy said it would be in some kind of physical processor. Hey, Fena. Thanks for the good luck. Really appreciate it. An ancient ruin. Turned into a Tanakh stronghold? Could Aether be inside? The god of Hermes read the old pain. What do you have? The void. Yeah, you cut not anything. Is that? Yeah. All right. Is it come? By the way, they announced uh, some more information about The Last of Us Remake yesterday. I don't know if you guys saw it. But uh, unfortunately, they haven't announced they are using the same crafting system as in Last of Us 2. Which, to be fair, there's not really anything wrong with it. It's a pretty cool system and all that for a casual playthrough. The only problem is when you speedrun, you're not going to be crafting anything. <laughs> Simply because of... Uh, Due to all the crafting animations they do for it, it's gonna take a million years to just get one upgrade to your weapon. I better meet so, at so I guess one aspect of the Last of Us remake speedrun will be that we can't craft anything, because it's simply gonna take too long to do. Because that's like a thing in Last of Us 2 speedruns, it's like it's not worth it to upgrade any weapons because it takes too long. Because of all the animations they do for it. Bit of a shame, because it would be nice to have some strategy for that, but... Oh well. What can you do, I guess? I guess it makes sense. I'm not blaming them or anything, I'm just saying... You know, just wanted to point it out. Because obviously it makes sense they would bring that system back, because... For any regular playthrough, it's a pretty cool system. Can't blame them, just a bit of a shame from the speed. If you put on the, you know, your speedrun glasses. Alright, so up here we are gonna do our first rebel camp. 
these are the big camps compared to the outposts. And in those you also only have to do very specific objectives in order to complete them. Once again I'm leaving my mount on the outside here just to make sure they don't kill it. Because I don't want to have to go and get a new one. So the only thing you have to do in this camp when you go in is uh, kill the big guy down here. Please just let me loot. There we go. So on that guy right there with the shield, he has the key, which we can then put in and go into the basement. And in the basement, there should be four, or sorry, three enemies that we obviously have to kill as well. There, once everyone is dead, we'll restart from safe. Which leaves us in the empty basement with no enemies being alerted. So we can interact with these things. Because uh, normally when I just storm in like that, obviously all the enemies on the outside have heard it. But restarting from safe takes away all the alert. Now I can just listen to these and complete the camp. The machines like that. that we shall ride to glory. The next tool who interferes with them will be eviscerated and left in the desert for carry on. There will be no second warning. Hey, Kefen, how's it going? Sufficient? Yeah, that should prevent your people from butting heads with mine. You have my thanks, Regala. May our pact lead to victory. So Regala is not working alone. These. Sons of Prometheus gave her the ability to override machines. These scrolls are filled with weapon schematics. Unfortunately, there's no way of skipping this dialogue that I'm aware of, so we just kind of have to listen to it. None of them complete. Do you people actually sit for seven hours straight playing? Uh, yes, we do. <laughs> An experimenter with old world power cells. Well, and when you do speedruns and challenge runs, you just kind of get used to it. And I guess it's a little bit easier, because for me as well, I also guess you could say I make money off it, so it's kind of a job in a sense. But, you know, it doesn't change the fact that I still really enjoy doing these. If I destabilize that cell, the explosion would start a chain reaction and take the bunker with it. No bunker. No power cells, no new weapons. So here we go, we're gonna overload this. this blows. Time to run. And there we go, Rebel Camp down. Big time save there, because I messed it up a bit in my PB. So you can see the cam completed without having to deal with any of the other guys here. Stop him from stirring up trouble. I need to death breakers. An ancient battle took place here. Now let's get our mount and continue to the bulwark. Wait. I took a wrong turn, didn't I? Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> this way. Whoops. Which game is better? Depends on what situation. I'd say both games are equally good. If we just look at them overall. I don't really personally have a favorite. I like both games for different reasons. Right here, I'm gonna take a left turn to unlock the campfire up here for this hunting ground. Once again, not doing the hunting ground now. We'll come back to it later. But just making sure we can fast travel to it later. 
because we don't have the weapons required to do that hunting round just yet. Sub TSM, how are you doing? Move, 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 move. I don't want to get hit by those traps. That was close. Not one. This must be Stonecrest. Katara should be waiting for me. But I should look around first. What is Aloy doing, Jesus? There we go. Alright, let's do a bit of selling here. Sell the coils, sell the bombs, potions. Sell that, buy 10 more fast travel packs. Buy a smoke bomb. Go buy three potions and let's learn some skills while we're at it. So, yeah, I'm gonna get a trophy for fully upgrading a Valor search. There we go. There's a couple of trophies that are based on the skills. That's the first of, I think it's three in total. We learn to brace shot, and then we go in here and equip ourselves with a sharp shot bow. So both will add night. On me. I'm just playing on a guest account. On my PlayStation. That allows me to get them again. It's good to have following. I don't hear him. I can assume he's following. Yeah, he's teleporting behind me, so we're good. We're good. You said the rebels have been moving through here by the time Takote realizes he's outmatched. This entire valley might be overrun. What happens if you go to the Tremitus early? It just isn't there. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. If I remember correctly, I think he just isn't there. Yet. This is a warm welcome. An outlander and a maimed marshal. <laughs> that wall might not be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. Beaten already, outlander. Oh, just you wait. Yeah, they're pretty quick. Quite impressive uh, logistics organization. Rig all got going on. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with this. How? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall. Near that waterfall. Power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. But how? Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. There you are. All right. Let's 
Let's head to the Tronotos camp. Hey, Seth. Tremitus. Really nice. Hey, Dave. How are you doing? That's pretty nice and clean fight. sky complete and then whoops let's enter the bulwark again here and quickly start see if everyone's all right. the first apply question chaplain Garoth. might also be a good idea to resupply before I before we head back to the cold there we go first fly have been started So there's a trophy for doing two of the side quests that are tied to having the flying mount, where first to fly is one of them. There's actually four flying mount quests in the game, and first to fly is one of the fastest. So that's why we're doing that one. But obviously we can't do it until we have the Sunwing, so we'll do that one later. This must lead to the arena. Another part of the ruins turned into a fighting ring. Time to get a little outfit upgrade here. There and then. Notice we have one of these. Yes, but they. There are only three. We've set up a different She will. You hold you. It's good. This outfit is pretty good. Also, let's learn some few more skills here. So we can do extra heavy weapon damage. The outfit I put on also has a boost for heavy weapon damage. Because guess what? The pew pew section is coming up. I don't remember scan a plow horn here. We are not and obviously here I'm gonna use my second gun out of the five heavy weapons that we have to use. Because remember there was a trophy for using five different ones. Let's get the scan here on the plow one. This is exactly one of the few times we'll actually see a plow on this run. There we go. Nice and easy. Then the snake. Let's bring 
That's a really nice shot. Let's go. Regala went after Hikaru and Katalo. I gotta get to them. We've got out here, Pepper Champion. Get inside. Go. Get to the seat. Oh. All the soldiers there in the way. Now let's get up her subordinate function. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether subordinate function to original code. Now to get this back to Gaia. The visions in the grove have changed. The words of the ten. Oh, nice. Back to base, hand in either, and then of course it's off to beta. Or the Ninma lab. To save beta. Well, I did. You keep frowning at how I did that angel. What? Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge ether with me. I hope that's the correct amount of here. Seems accurate. <laughs> pew 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 This is a trophy for recovering either more Zenus than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crit? The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Recover the asset. Ah. Ah. Our weapon's still hot. I do wonder what the end goal for the Xenos were with Beta. If they were successful, it's cooled off. Were they just gonna make her immortal like them, or with a focus. quote unquote, just get rid of her? Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. I imagine Tilda probably don't like the last option, but uh, looks like the rebels you know. here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. You wonder what the end goal was. Oh, final plan with with beta was. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? That looks yeah. From the proving lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. So, exploring another far Zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. 
or anything you can blow up. Hey, Rylan. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. A control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. 236 contain. Right. I should prepare before. Gotta remember to scan the spectre here before moving on. So we get the spectre scan. Quickly plant two acid bombs, that should kill it. Here it comes. Get the spectre. There. Stood a little too close. Yeah. But we got the skin. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast Oh, thank you. Welcome to the stream. I assume you're referring to my first playthrough. <laughs> About that, Dave. Pin down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. I don't personally have the game guide, so that doesn't sound good. I'm, I'm sure somebody in chat probably has it. You can maybe speak to it. Alright, so for the second I'm spectre here, I'm gonna head over here and use the Stalker cannon. Because that will be the third gun out of five. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. That's not looking. God damn it, game. <laughs> Maybe the Zenos won't be so invincible after. Was one massive jump by that Spectre. Whatever, we got him. We don't have to kill it with the Stalker gun, we just have to have used the Stalker gun. We can replicate it. Well, the trophy, by the way. We'll Just want to point that out. I should check on the clone too. Burl. Welcome back. Where's our guest? Hey. Thanks, guy. Aloy. Glad you made it back. So, about you. And now we're actually gonna go away from the main quest for a little bit, because now we are gonna do the desert commander quests. Because there's a trophy for choosing a new desert commander, either Draga or Yara. So we have to complete both of their side quests, and then of course the final one where we decide who is uh, the worthy. Who is uh, the worthy commander? But first, we need to do one of the races or gauntlet runs, as they are called. Sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus. To... Well, some people have decided to use the stormtrooper emote completely out of context just to get it back on the rankings. And uh, I haven't looked at the rankings in a while, but I would imagine once I look at the ones for the month of August, uh, it's probably going to have a very inflated number. Where it probably have a lot of usage, usages, but probably not a lot of different users actually using it. Yeah. But yeah, there's a trophy here for doing two of the gauntlet races, so this is the first one that we'll do. Obviously, there are four in the game, but you only have to do two for the trophy. Which is good, because I don't really like these gauntlet races, I must admit. This way, fresh meat. Let's get you that mount. I see. Gauntlet races is probably my least favorite thing in this game. 
To be perfectly honest with you. the timing on that shot gain gotcha. that's just silly once again perfectly timed shot so i can grab the booster the main reason why i hate these races is because of the annoying shooting Getting shot is really annoying in this. And also the insane rubber bending. But it doesn't really matter how good you are at this. The <laughs> opponents will catch up to you no matter what you do. You can race this absolutely perfectly. And they'll just do that. Well, I was hoping I was going to hit the guy in front, but... It didn't really pan out. Somebody's right behind me, but they're both stunned right now, so... She's really close. And the finish line is coming up. Yeah. Got a damn rubber banding, but should be a win. <laughs> Here, I names up most of our emergencies that we made and race beside us. There we go. First gondol race down. You here to join the race? See you later, potato. Now let's do our second relic rune here. Let's remember this trophy for doing three of them. And this is normally one of the longest relic runes, if not the longest relic, relic rune in the game, if you do it intentionally. I believe it actually is the longest in the game. Whoops. Keep trying to slide next to my mouth. But you can just kind of cheese it by using the environment here. Because you can just use this little thing sticking out here and just get a little jump around like that. Grab the ornament and that's the relic okay. rune complete. Got the relic. Guess I'll hold on to it for now. I plenty use it later. There we go. And now fast roll uh, here. Now it's time to meet up with Dragon. And yes, I have misspelled it in my splits. Every time I've done these platinum runs, it has been misspelled, and I've never bothered to change it. To just deal with it. And you bet. If you, I'm like. Oh, hell, probably seems. And now we can leave. I have always made the. Yeah. Well, intentionally choose the "I meet you there" option because it's faster to fast roll there than it is to follow him. <clears throat> Over here. Huh. This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. Our so-called commander's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think here we gotta remember to scan Fanghorn Ravager and Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to fight two Fanghorn Ravager and Thunder on this one. And I'm guessing that someone is you? 
That makes sure everyone gets all the water they need. No matter what village you're from. Maybe you need to talk to him here. Even though he runs around like that for no reason. Hold on to any hearts you loot and I'll take them from you later. Let's get some clean gills. Quiet too, he says. Got the Ravager scan. Got the thing on scan. Try to get a stealth kill on the thing horns, because there's a trophy for 10 stealth kills. Might as well get those knocked out. Explosions are stealthy, I guess. I mean, if you blow up anyone who could have heard it, technically it is stealthy. If you think about it. <laughs> Just blow everybody up that could potentially have heard it. And that's stealth. Glad to have you along. Raga is so slow here. You coming? Good. To think, so many have to die just to get water. Did you try talking to your commander at Scalding Spear? Uh, please, the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn. About that. Wouldn't mind having yours at my side if it ever came to it. I'm just passing through, Draka. No. Hey, it doesn't spawn until I get a little closer or something. You can't blame me for trying. This is it. Where the I guess someone's alive. Down. By the rocks. The ground. The ground. Speak sense, soldier. Furrowers. No good. Need ammo. Ha! What is that bouncing? Stop twerking, the machine. Thunderjaw's back. This is gonna get rough. Goddamn twerking bot burrows. Trying to hit the butt, but it's bouncing too much. There we go, that's also the fourth pickup gun we have used now. So we just need one more, but we won't get the last one until very much later in the run. When we do the final hunting ground. There we go, and then we have to return to Arrowhand to finish off this quest. There we go, that's the quest done, so now we can fast roll here. So now it's time for Yara's quest. Let me quickly look at my notes here for Yara. I gotta remember to buy some food and scan the spikes now. Why put 
And the only reason why I'm buying food is so I can upgrade the food pouch. Because there's a trophy for that. And you can only upgrade it once you have some food. And this is the closest we'll ever get to a cook in the run, so that's why I buy it here. <laughs> Your reputation has grown since I saw you last. You took down the bulwark, defended the grove, and saved the life of our chief. I'm hoping you've got enough left for one more miracle. What do you need? You'll find out soon enough. And now, demand. Jata did a she get to the very. What do you? I mean, that which is like how? Just very. In case you're wondering whether we choose Draga Yara as a commander, I'll let people in chat vote on it. Speaking of which, uh, Seth, or another mod in chat, if uh, you guys want to start a five minute poll between Draga and Yara, you can do so now. But as we all know, there's only one correct option, which is obviously Draga. If you ask me, I don't see how you could possibly side with Yara on this one but there are some people that are stout supporters of uh yara out there so we'll see but like i said i'll let you guys vote on it so vote now the wound in the sand definitely built by the old ones focus should show me more pipes Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. So cast your vote now if you want to choose which one. And if you're worried about the time, it doesn't matter who you choose. It's the same amount of time, no matter who you choose. Doesn't matter. So literally just choose who you prefer. And I can see Seth is very biased in the way he qu put the question up. Because <laughs> I know Seth is on team uh, Yara. But then again, I mean, I'm also clearly very bi biased towards Draga. So, you know. <laughs> uh, oops. A little wrong turn. It's over here. things to do than try to kill you. That was a bit weird. Come on, Mom, please. As I've been saying, I should check where the pipes are headed with my focus. Pipe goes past that ridge. We're gonna have to do some climbing. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. Jataga rule? I mean, Jataga would be a great option. <laughs> I think the Tanaka not a fan of having leaders that are too old. That seems to be like a thing for the Tanaka. There we go. Spike now scan. Kill it with Priest. Good time. That was a complete miss. There, and can we get a brace shot here? Yeah. You know him? That is one of Draka's men. I will cut off that dissident's head and feed it to the vultures if he had anything to do with... We don't know what happened here yet. And we still have a trail to follow. Lead the way. Water. Barely a lick's worth. But there are no streams in this. Let's see how's the poll going. Most people are working Draga as must have used them to get up this cliff. I see you guys are uh, people of culture as well. Because at least Yara and Draga took action. Whereas Yara was just willing to sit there and do nothing. And everybody was gonna die from that. What is this? It's a problem. I'm gonna need my focus. That weapon. Looks like Draka's man tried to pry this open, but he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. 
sabotage me. Or it is. Do you not, not feel cultured from watching my stream? Damn. But my stream was the equivalent of going to a royal ballot. What do you need me to do? Just uh stay here. But fair enough, I see how it is. I'm gonna take a look around. Hey, it stopped leaking. So it looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. That's the same type of machinery we found outside. Only this one's not leaking. Maybe it can help me switch the water flow. Hey, G-Gate. And by the way, if you don't see the poll, you still have a few seconds left. It should be on top of the chat. Switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. Oh. Actually, wait. I forgot. We can just do a little bit of an... Use the fence there to grab on like that. There we go. Much faster. It seems like Draga is gonna win Sounds like the vote today. Hey, Lloyd. I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? Not that I can see. Let's hope that means my. And Draga has won the vote. But Draga becomes commander of this run. Uh, can we please get down? Thank you. That should do it. Way too many things to grab onto here. Things are about to get ugly between Draka and Yara. Maybe I can head it off. Oh wait, no, it's the wound there. Yeah. Looks like it's holding up. Wait. Went the wrong way there. No problems up. Enjoy Stardew. Your courage serves you well. Miss Scott, you're and you you I will but without And there we go, that's that done. But before we head out and pick a desert commander, we'll quickly do um, the melee pit here, which requires me to learn a few skills here. Let me see the ones that's Norio, Warrior, and Aerial Slash that we need to have learned for this one. So time for first melee pit here, because there's a trophy for defeating the Enduring. Uh, I want, I want, I want, I want two. Uh, hold on to rest and I will ask, gotcha. One. And not hold it long enough. Nice. Your enemy is mine. Oh. And you might have noticed we didn't do the melee pit and chain scrape. That's because that one is not actually required. You only have to do the Tanakh ones. In order to... Um, Something different. In order to be able to challenge the enduring aerial slash to chain into an aerial shot. There we go, that's the tutorials down. Now we just need to beat the big guy here. Skill. Alright. I yield. That was here. Thanks. Go turn the and if you the pit I'll be going. Let me Nice. Right. Let's go over and get a desert commander. 
Choose commander. A little bit of an intermission from to a guide Catalan. <laughs> Maybe I'll check it out. Thanks. Uh, I should have uh, weapons ready here. I first go on foot from here. That's a lot of angry to knock. Hey, clear to Nicaro's camp here. Right. Your here we go. Does the, if you and how listen here to your side, side with Draga. Chat chose to side with Draga, so that's what we do. Chose Desert Commander, and now to Las Vegas. So get our next subordinate function here. This must be the ruins of Las Vegas. Gotta remember to scan Bag and Glimthog here. And grab the blaster before entering. The building. You can see as one of the you can get a bow blaster for free right here in Las Vegas. Because remember there's a trophy for getting every type of weapon. That's true. I might be able to find a way down. We can grab a bow blaster right here before we meet up with Molin and the gang. There's uh, in the box underneath the Tower of Tears right here. You'll find a box with a bow blaster. So there we go. Seems like we're starting to have the bit of uh, audio back here. Hello. Yeah. Well, what's Hello, uh, there's been no issues today. What is it? She you got hey, moral terms. Come on. Oh, fair enough. Park come on. Might have to reboot the game here at some point to get rid of this audio back. So audio bug is just something that happens in this game when you play for a while, where you uh, where you skip cutscenes and dialogue really fast, like we do in speedrun. The audio will just eventually bug out and kind of be missing, as you can see. Uh, they claim to have fixed it in a patch, but it's still not fixed. So I'll probably reboot the game after Las Vegas there. In order to get rid of it, because it's uh, kind of annoying to play with. So here we go. Got the Glenthog scan. Got the double back scan. One synthetic membrane. Exciting to the menu fixes it. Uh, never actually thought about that. Actually, don't know. Not gonna test it in this round and waste time though. But might be something to try in the future. Got 
got the compressed air capsule. I should have got it. I think I won't quit for There we go. Now we finally got the diving mask. Wow. If it was in. I assume so. It's something I think it. Like we. That's what? Image. Tiny. Got that fur. Man. Wait. I don't know. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. So far, so good. I can actually leap out of here. Oh, the mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Nautical light. Like a way out. The fighting's down here somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. Why do I always get stuck there? Whoa. There we go. Little tide rope of skin. Should be an access point for the first node south of here. Moment. Up and find the other node. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. There's the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. I don't know, I could see some form of underwater combat be a thing they added to a potential DLC. <laughs> like adding like some sort of weapon that can be used underwater. And then maybe okay. a few more underwater machines as well. Now we just need to activate the emergency to You could see that being a thing. If uh, I were to guess. That's also, I guess, a reason why I think Story DLC could very likely have to do with the Quinn and fixing the water system they keep talking about. Because fixing a water system, well, that leads to more water stuff. And therefore you could implement underwater weapons, you could tie it into the story and say, oh, the Quinn has weapons that work underwater, because we learned that from the focus, you know, from the legacy. You know, it practically writes itself. And also, it's just hinted at so much in this game. Uh, fixing the water back in the homeland for the Quinn. So, I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I feel like that's most likely DLC. Sub Uber. That's what the promise is. 
I think it's either that or uh, Burning Shores. Because Burning Shores is also mentioned like four times or something like that in the game. Alright. Time for the tide river fight here. You gotta remember to wait a couple of seconds before we shoot. Please loop. Thank you. That's what I wanted to do, but I guess we'll go for it. Bird game? I don't know. It just seemed like uh, water and going underwater was kind of like... I feel like gimmick is the wrong word, but kind of like the gimmick of this game, right? So I feel like something else will be the gimming in the for a game, but you never know. They could also just expand on it. There. I should be able to use that. So who knows? We'll see, I guess. We will see. It'll be a while before we see anything about the third game, though. Obviously. <laughs> Gotta bring this back to Gaia. But obviously the talks about the third game is uh, much more prevalent now. Simply because they chose to leave this game on such a massive cliffhanger. So, naturally there's just already a ton of talk about a sequel in this game. More so than the worth of zero dawn. I mean, given how the story has taken so far, space is definitely not unlikely. <laughs> you know, pretty much anything is on the table at this point. Especially if you recover Apollo, then the limit to what you could potentially build is, you know, limitless, if you will. An elevator. No one must have built this before the place flooded. Must have worked. It's about to have to climb back up. Back to base and hand in Poseidon. And after I talk to um, Guy and Beta here, I'll quickly reboot the game so we can get some of the game audio back. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Before we head to the bulwark for the melee pit there. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has Just a trophy for Poseidon. I'll be right down. And trophy for level 20. Additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Alright, so here we go. I'll quickly reboot the game here. Oh. Come on. Close down the game and boot it back up. That gets rid of the audio bug. Just because it's really annoying to play with the audio bug. <clears throat> uh, 
And then before we head to Bulwark here for the melee pit, we quickly have to learn the Half Moon Slash. Because that is required for this melee pit. It is. I'm a rock watch made Anyway, same rule. You can only complete them. And when if all I earn three. So this one is R1, hold on to shoot opponent in there. And dodge first. <laughs> you can't win a battle if you're dead. And distance will keep you alive. This combination gets you out of trouble and punishes your enemy. All right, this one is Tabo one while holding the stick forward, hold and release uh, to jump over opponent and slam without two. Okay. Survival on the battlefield is down to tactics. The tutorials for these melee pits are really annoying, so that's why I have to like read them to remember them. It's like they're super strict with what you have to do and. The way they write them out are, wait, oh, I forgot to get the block breaker. Why was that not listed in my notes? I forgot to write block breaker in my notes. Back for some Whoops. Uh, block breaker R1, R1, R2, before attack finishes, hold R1, then release R1, and hold R2 for jump buff, shoot opponent. Boom, boom, boom. To really hurt Oops. a defensive opponent, use a block. And there we go, that's the trophy for using three different melee combos. That we obviously just get naturally through the melee pits. And now Pitmaster. Make every attack right, Outlander. Blood of the ten. Oh, damn it. God damn, that was quick. Damn, you're here. And then, and let me know. I'm done with the pit until. I was a little time loss here because I rebooted the game here. In my PB, I also rebooted, but I did it even in a different spot. Break my fall. But beautiful. All right, on to the Quinn. Gotta remember to complete the the outpost here and kill the fire troll. Kill and scan the fire troll. A rebel outpost. And I have to find whoever's in charge and stop them from causing any more harm. And this fire troll is a terrorizing the Forbidden West too. Huh. The reason why I'm killing it is because there's a there's a couple of trophies for killing various types of machines. Which essentially just means kill every machine in the game. And there's no fire claw we fight outside of the or in any of the quests that we have to do. So that's why we kill the one we scan right here. Those explosions should finish him. There we go, and now we need to find the leader here. Who is the guy with the big gun, who just happens to be right in front of me. This is again one of the outposts where you just have to kill the leader and loot him, and that counts as rebel camp done. Either way, I'm done here. 
Get on the mount, please. Because again, those rebel outposts are the fastest to do. That's why we do those specific ones for the trophy. These tags I keep finding. There you go. I need to return them to the Tanakh. Maybe somewhere at the grove will take them. Then I gotta remember to unlock the shelter here and grab the flowers for the die. So we'll intentionally ride a bit further here than we normally do in the other speedruns. To unlock a shelter that's down here, because there will be a fast travel point for Kappa and the uh, First Forge later in the run. Coordinates that Gaia gave me for Demeter are close. And then we'll climb up right here, because there's some flowers up here. A dyer can make use of this. We need four specific flowers. Uh, sorry, three specific flowers, so we can buy an outfit die. Because there's a trophy for dyeing your outfit using flowers. And fun fact, in both Zero Dawn and Forbidden West, even though it might seem random where flowers and plants are in the game, it's not. The plants always spawn in the exact same spot every time. So that includes these flowers I'm picking up here. As well as uh, medicine flowers and stuff like that. They will always be in the same spot every time, every playthrough. Uh, I think I forgot. Yeah, it's this one I'm supposed to get. Uh, come on. Uh, that's not good. I messed this up. Can I scale like this? There we go. Do some unintentional climbing to save this. Yeah, I need a uh, midnight bloom. Alright, now let's head down to the greenhouse. I messed that up a little bit. <laughs> Whoops. Probably gonna grab Midnight Blue somewhere else, but just want to get it out of the way now to make sure I don't have to think about it. Because otherwise, it's very likely I forget. With how I tend to memorize stuff in speedruns, I usually like to claim I have a good memory, but the way it basically just works is like for every split I have in a run, I just memorize the things I have to do on that split. So if I forget something and all of a sudden I have to memorize to get it somewhere else, that's usually when my memory will fail me. Because <laughs> my memory is built around doing certain things at certain times. Wizard, I need to get past these hostels and into the ruins. like some sort of old office complex. The greenhouse. Fairly automated solutions in the greenhouse. I'm not a flower. Oh, we should be right beyond that door. But those vines are blocking the way. Yeah, uh, you can just click on your own name and it should tell you a date for when you followed. If you click your own name and chat, it usually says the date the person followed the stream. Great. I always forget, is that a better Twitch TV feature or is it actually a Twitch feature? I, I don't know. If it's a better Twitch TV feature, then somebody else in chat can probably check for you. Shooting there. Got that hip hit up. 
And why is he going over here? Not a fan of that. Oh, well. I really wish these people would have talked to me instead of trying to kill me. I'm That's not great. But we got through it, I guess. In unison, but not sure. Well, yes, Alba. Okay. Here we go. Following your lead. I don't have a follow H command, because if you have a follow H command, everybody types it in chat. And then all of a sudden your entire chat is nothing but Nightbot. And that's super annoying. Because as a streamer, I really like reading the chat. But nothing is worse than when you look at chat and all you see is just commands being spammed. So that's why I intentionally try to keep my chat commands to a minimum. Because I know a lot of people always ask me, why don't I have a command for this or that, and yada yada yada. It's just because if they have too many commands, they just get overused, and then all of a sudden, all you see in chat is like, just nightbot commands. When you try to have a conversation with somebody. There's one thing I notice with people that do have those, uh, follow its commands, it's usually one person types it in chat and then everybody in chat starts using it. <laughs> we can fight them. It's usually like one of those dominoes effects. I'm right behind you. So just, not that I have anything against people asking about it, it's just, I just want to explain it, because it's been a while since I explained why, but very often I get the question why I don't have more commands and stuff. That's, that's the reason. <laughs> just want to explain it like that. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. There we go. Yeah. If you can hop on top of it, I can I mean, yeah, I do have quotes, but exactly. usually I can tell people if they start spamming quotes. I can tell them to calm down. And usually people are considerate with that stuff. Need a command to explain the leg of commands. Yes. <laughs> I'll, uh, try. Huh? That's good! Jumping over! <sighs> Made it! I'm at the console. Wait! There's data here! A, a lot! But it's closed. <clears throat> Something's restricting access. If I can't get past it, my mission here is doomed. Alva, I'll help. If I can, okay? But first, we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh, yeah, the, the Y command is funny, though. <laughs> okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. Because sometimes it lines up perfectly with somebody's question, and it's just... Then you need to find and that's the just gold comedy right there. <laughs> okay, I'm on it. At least right now it's funny. Maybe in the future it'll lose its uh, novelty, but for now it's fun. I guess there's a few commands like that that just reacts to, to somebody saying something. Like if somebody types Y or if somebody types I I We need to keep moving in the chat. Test station Ivy can't be far off. Another maze. So 
the metal cloud was the data referred to as adamantium debris. No, I'm not. I um, spent most of my life in a place far away. <laughs> Don't worry, Zaren. Thanks for the good luck, though. And there's no such thing as being late to the stream. You just tune in whenever you want to be entertained, I guess. Find a way to get into the <laughs> Don't expect everybody to be here every time. That would be an unrealistic change. expectation. <laughs> it's so still. Yeah. Keep your guard up. But that being said, I obviously yeah, appreciate when people machines? do. <laughs> Scan the red ring. Let's get some loot, cause why not? Should be able to get into Testation Ivy now. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. This console still operation. Another log. Hey, laws of the old tribe. Eh, best Carl combinations? I don't know. It really depends on situations. I don't know. The only thing I guess I have a plan, like, or something like that, is to do the video on the speedrun setup. And maybe some setups for the arena, but. Don't really have any plans for like just universal use there. necessarily, but uh, I don't know. Not really sure how I would even make or present a video like that. Now, to be honest. Get to that data core. I don't know. Something to think about, I guess. This new module works. Power's blooming. Let's see if the software works. I don't know, maybe if I get a good idea at one point on how to possibly present a universal Carl Gad video, then uh, maybe. But, uh, I don't even know how to. I would start on something like that. Anyway, I'll ask the subordinate function. Yeah, the Carls are really complicated in this game. I really wish they just stuck to like the symbol system of the first game and just tweaked it for this game. Because uh, me and I know I'm definitely not the only one on this. I know there are plenty of other people that would agree that uh, they definitely overcomplicated the systems too much. I feel like they should have just stuck to keeping it simple. And obviously just nerfed things that were too overpowered, like handling and damage. Or buff the other ones. But um, yeah, I just don't like Carls in this game that are situation specific. Because all the best Carls in this game requires you to be in a specific situation. Which you then either have to set up a weapon for just that situation, or... Like, it's hard to make universal weapons, I guess, you could say. And there we go, Demeter Trophy. Now to head down the beach. We will first do the third Rebel Outpost here. This time I gotta be a lot more careful with my mount on this Rebel Outpost, because last time I lost a lot of time to it. Clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got rebels. I 
to get rid of their leader. Maybe then the rest will retreat. Trees as tall as towers. Uh, stand in the just the leader. Wouldn't mind a roasted lizard right about now. Maybe that must be the leader of this outpost. Help me! Yeah, he's got the silent strike on him. And again, just need the tanks, and then we're done. I'm gonna keep them for now until I figure out what to do with them. Without a leader, the rebels should abandon this place. But I could always deal with them now. Either way, I'm done here. So now we just need one more rebel outpost, and we got the trophy. Because again, the trophy is for four outposts. But we won't get another outpost until a little later in the run. <laughs> no, it, let's not even get started with instant effect chances, because those coils are, like, dumb. <laughs> they would have been useful if the percentages were much higher, but they're not. The percentages are just too low for them to ever be, like, realistically viable. Because the thing is with Carl's, to me, I feel like weapon Carl's or modifications, whatever you call them, I prefer them to just be like, hey, I got a better Carl, I'll put it on my weapon, and then I don't think about it again, right? I don't like the idea of, oh, this fight is not going to be very long range, this is going to be more close range, so I should change my Carl's. I just don't like that style. By the way, I entered Tide's Reach, reach there, so I can fast roll to it later. Because we'll come back to Tide's Reach later in the run. I don't know, I just don't like the situational Carls, because that just leads to you having to swap out the Carls all the time, and it's annoying. Activate that campfire there for later as well. Yeah, I just like the simplicity of the Zero Dawn ones. The only thing I would have liked about the Zero Dawn ones were that they had limited them more to how many you could get of the best ones and made it less RNG dependent. <laughs> At least the good thing in this game is there's basically no RNG, or almost no RNG to Carl's in this game, but you know. Because there was an issue in Zero Dawn. Anyway, form marsh here. And form marsh here. Do, 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 do. We'll uh, quickly buy another stack of uh, fast trial packs. We'll fill up on some resources. We have machine muscle, so let's get some of that. And then we'll buy a weapon here. We'll buy the, this sharp shot bow. Because it has the plasma arrows that will use for the hunting ground. And also just slightly better than the blue one, so we'll naturally save some time over the course of the run. Now for the melee pit. But yeah, I'm not a good gameplay designer, so I'm not sure how you would design the corals where you could still get better ones, but without it being too much RNG dependent. I'm sure there are ways, I'm just not... I would need to sit down and think about it. But, uh, you know, have the cards be more balanced and just make sure they're not too RNG dependent. That the player can somewhat know what cards they get for a certain task or something. Alright, uh, let's see here. Power attack, hold out to R1, pause, R1, 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 R1. Shoot opponent with training arrow. Bum, pause, one, two, three, four. Wanna maximize yes. damage to a single opponent? Break their weapon. Gotta be focused here for these um, the melee pits here, because they're really annoying to mess up. Alright, next one. R1, R1, pause, R1, R1. Hold the last R1, and then release R2, jump over our opponent. R1, R1, pause, R1, R1, hold. Gotcha. 
Owen, Owen, wait. It's vital to control your Beautiful. combat space and not get surrounded. That's really good. The spinning scythe not only hits multiple enemies, it clears the space around them. Energy swords. I want on I want pulse I want. The truth of the visions were revealed by one, two, three. First energize your fear. Then energize your enemy by chaining that energy surge with other attacks. My strength is good. One more. Hold, then release R2 before attack finishes. Hold down one, release R1, R1, R2, shoot arrow. Hold R2, R1, 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 R2. Beautiful. Didn't mess any of them up. The Fawn Mars tutorials here especially are really annoying with the way they're written out for the prompts you have to press. It's really easy to mess them up unless you read them very clearly. Alright, Dead Master. Chill back. You can land a hit. That was a good set of attacks. How the hell did he do that? Terrible fight. Whatever. We got it. Oh wow, I saved a lot of time here. Oh. Accidentally started another one. <laughs> Didn't mean to. You must learn to combine. Didn't mean to start this one, whoops. Oh yeah, I have messed up a lot on the outpost in my TV run. I've had enough training. All right. Now we have completed all the melee pit masters, so now we can do the enduring. But it'll be a while before we get to the enduring, because we're pretty far away from her right now. So we'll come. Well, we'll go for her later. But let's continue our journey to Las Vegas. But on the way here, we'll do the final gauntlet race. Or the final one for the trophy. Because again, you only need to do two of them to get the trophy, so. Let's finish off the final one here. So we can be done with these. They don't catch up. Gonna bring you down. Hey. <laughs> Look at this rubber banding man. That is embarrassing gameplay design. 
if I've ever seen it. Pretty good start to the race, though. But they are catching up. Seems like they're fighting each other right now instead of me, so that's probably too soon. But <laughs> that's good, I guess. Wow, they shot me as soon as the booster was in range. I didn't get one. Damn you. Also, I feel like you should be invulnerable if you have boost activated. They're a little too close to comfort here. I wish they would kind of overtake me now, just so I could shoot them. So they don't overtake me on the finish line or something silly like that. I guess as long as I can stay ahead of them. Should be fine. Yeah, let's go. Could turn around and go for a shot actually. Ah <laughs> oh, shit. Move, 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 move. Hit the intended target there. Don't hear anyone immediately behind me, so I think I'm good. Safe to just take the win here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Second race done. And there's the trophy. Now we no longer have to do any more of those runs. <laughs> or yeah, races in this playthrough. That's good. Because I'm really not a fan of them. <laughs> anyway, let's override a bristle bike here. Before we head to San Francisco. Because there's a trophy for riding every mount in the game, and remember, there's also a trophy for overriding 10 different machines. So we'll get that done right here. Oh, I agree. Nil being in the game is still really dumb to me. That made the gunblood races even worse. <laughs> Having Nil just randomly show up. For well, borderline go no good reason other than fan service. Because he was a... I mean, can't take that away from him. He was a really popular character from the first game in terms of like you know, the fandom, but, uh, you know. I mean, I get it. Obviously, when they made the first game, they probably didn't expect him to be a beloved character the way he turned into. But uh, that being said, you should still not bring a character back if you have had the option to kill them in another game. 
because that takes away the you know that kind of ruins the choice from the first game because if you can't stick to both options being canon then don't do it at all That's how i personally see it All right, so on our way to landfall here. Landfall will pick up pick up the shredder gauntlet, which is another one of the weapon type types we need, and we can get a shredder gauntlet for free in landfall, because on one of the ships there's a box with a one of them in it, and we'll also use the shredder gauntlet later. Or the hunting ground. So that means the only weapon type we're missing at this point is the spike thrower. But we'll get that for completing a set of salvage contracts. Kind of drone? Which we'll also do later. Might have some useful data. But how to get up there? Is that her? What kind of toughness? Then, then, Greece, then we. Okay. Off to the big pyramid to fight the fire jaw. So in this box right here, we find a shredder gauntlet. They're taking our supplies. No. Off to the big pyramid to fight the big hunter jaw. Or whatever Aloy is us. Something along those lines. Good fight. You killed that machine. Your CEO sent me. I need to speak to Alva. By all means, then. Open the gates. And I don't need to go shopping. The legacy tells us that Elizabeth. Good time save there as well. Ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it As I said, once we get later into the run, there would be some big time saves. But of course, we still need to roughly 10 more minutes of time save if we want to get that sub 7, which is the overall goal for this. Let's keep it up. Quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. Best coral in the game? What coral? I mean, yeah, the uh, corals there you can only buy that merchant. But uh, they don't matter for this speedrun. The best coral in the game is the long range coral. Yeah, it's me.
Hundred percent tear. What? Is that a card? I don't think I've ever used that one. Yeah, you can get the cards in Hidden Amber too. True. But uh, you can get two sets of them, but obviously we're not building a coral set in this run, because there's nothing to do with the Platinum Trophy. Which is the only thing we care about in this run. Am I stuck? I think I got the objective, so I should be able to just restart from safe. Yeah, yeah, we good. Looks like an exercise room? Ah, it depends on the difficulty. If you're playing on lower difficulty, draw speed is pretty good. Look at this place. Pretty fancy for a survival bunker. Ah, good. A little stuck in that rich town. Speaking of coils, I should. Um... Uh, quickly put that damage curl on my and this one now we'll get the, the business pajamas which is gonna be the outfit we'll wear for most of the rest of the runs Pharaoh's visage a monument to greatness. I think this way might lead down. Excellent. It's a monument to something. Remember every that. detail of his, Bohai, for posterity. Damn it! We have no choice! Good strike! Let's forget to scan the crop. That would have been really bad. <laughs> well fought. Where's Overseer Bohai? An impressive setup. Hmm. Got a really itchy nose right now. The early results were so promising. No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... Oh, if only I had access to my old lab in Bangkok, or my old colleagues. Or my old liquor cabinet. Not the liquor Stop cabinet. It. Got to stay positive. How can you? If only this man could have gotten a drink. Then maybe Ted would have actually conquered the world. Oh well, what a shame. Look at all this equipment. We are getting closer to the heart of that place. I can feel it. Ah, is that a vent of some sort? Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Barely see where he was. Pharaoh rigged the reactor to oh, blow if he dies. We have to run. Time to make a glorious escape. Hey! For the quest! Run! Since there's a story difficulty, we can just slide through the lava.
Rest in peace to the CEO. May his legacy never be forgotten. Discovered Pharaoh's fate. Now that I have a medical clearance, we should have what we There we go, let's learn some skills here. Before we move on. Uh, did I get the one down here? I did. And then on to Gemini. <clears throat> I think I only lost time here because I learned those skills during Gemini last time. So my splits are a little bit off because I think I'm doing things a little out of order compared to what I did last time. Oh well. Welcome back. Hail. Aloy. I we don't. Good luck. Beta, it's a hotel. What if alone? The only, the Just gotta give a little pep talk here to Beta. You're right. so what? I don't, I don't and then know. into Gemini we go. Beta, beta, it's gotta remember to start some quest here before we go in. Katala, there he is. Who was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast seed banks. From here. Let me restart from safe. Was this door always locked? Beta Aloy. Whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask ah. the others to make a little bit of annoying time off here. Let me talk to So first then. Hey, I've good. I hope Starting some of the character side quests here. You, I once again, guy. If we, it may unless guy, we need machine. Yes, then if I will do less. As you. That's the land gun one. We got yeah. some supplies in that What's chest. this room? Take what you this need. would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. And while those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Eh? Ayla, right. There's. I. Oh, shit. Eh, Jenna. Eh, oh, and. And. Okay, wait. You're right. Oh. You may. Yes, I. It's called us. The legacy. But it's. So there's a trophy for completing all of the side quests that are related to these side characters at the base. So I'm starting those now. So we can start them. Uh, a little later. And I forgot to do this in my last run, which means I'm gonna probably lose a lot of time here on Gemini on the splits, but that time will be made up. This time will be made up later, because I messed this up last time. Or I, I did this later in the run last time, so... Anyway, just don't worry too much about the splits. Basically, don't be scared if it looks like I'm gonna lose a ton of time after Gemini, because it's not really time loss. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, Gemini time. Welcome back. Hey, 
Or I'll stay here. Protect Beta. Got it. Be careful. Emo scan. Did I scan Ravager earlier? I did. You two okay? to try and get some stealth kills here for the stealth kill trophy might as well go for them when we have the chance so we don't have to do it later thanks for the heads up i'm almost there it's some kind of production chamber festus is up to something all right what what kind of machine is it trying to build i don't know but i'm gonna shut it down those metal carriers are living into where it's getting materials from that's where Festus is hiding too. I gotta find where Festus is hiding. Looks like there are a couple of ways I could go. Let's just do it like that. Well, that doesn't sound good. Let's see if we can nail this skip first try, please. I think I messed up that skip a lot in my PV, but I don't actually remember 100% of it. I probably did. That'd definitely be something I would do. And close right again. Okay. This is running out of places to hide. Remember to learn triple stack here. For the slow spine. Up. 
It's done. You did it! There, there should be one more note to override. Good. Really nice. Stand by. No more hiding, Hephaestus. Got it. Hephaestus is back in the core. Make sure it's really nice, Gemini. I'm heading back. And then we can start the merge. Probably should have used some extra bombs on the watcher, but I don't that pretty good, I guess. Somehow I'm not losing a lot of time. Why am I not losing a lot of time? Wait. Couldn't have done any of this without you. Was my PB that bad or? Now I'm losing. I feel like I should have lost way more time. Oh well, that just uh, means I'm probably saving a shit ton of time later. Because of starting the quest already. Anyway, rest in peace, Val. If only you had a beard, you would have survived. What is this? Just a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just be done so soon. I've got more important things to worry about. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I remember I messed up the skip a lot in my PV. That sounds like something I would do. So maybe that's why I didn't lose that much time. Perhaps. Perhaps. I wouldn't put it past me. Great. <laughs> I take it the other Zenus can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. I wonder how much snow it'll be this time. Over here. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. All right, before I forget. This room looks different. That hole. Override installed. Now to find a sunway. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Gotta remember to scan and kill a sunwing up here. Again, for the scan trophy and for the kill trophy. In case you're wondering, because we don't find any stun wings from just doing the quest that we have to do good there are some wings up here i'll have to approach them quietly therefore we'll just scan one and kill one got it Cosme ammo isn't gonna do much there we go used all elemental states as well there we go, it's dead. Just making sure it's fully dead before I fly out there. Then you'll want to pick up an energy making sure it actually counts. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the I think while I wait on the tall neck here, I'm quickly gonna run to the bathroom and go for a pee. While I wait for the dialogue. Should have enough time to do that. And now we have a Sunwing. So after this quest, we'll be able to use the Sunwing to save a lot of time on the remaining things we have to do in this run. And obviously here we'll get the trophy for overriding our first tonic. There's a tonic. And in case you're wondering why I haven't done any tall necks yet, it's because the tall necks are so much faster when you have a sunwing. Then you can just land on top of them. <laughs> no. 
instead of having to do any of the quote unquote intended strats. <laughs> I'll run to the bathroom while it overrides. Be right back. Okay, Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good, and the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on Ahuras. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. A little bit of time loss. Well, there's downtime anyway, might as well use it to get a bathroom break in. <laughs> so that way I hopefully don't have to pee for the rest of the run. This last time I did take my bathroom break not doing downtime. So we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll save that time later, even if we lose a bit here. When did I take my bathroom break in the last run? I... Oh yeah, I took it after beating the main quest. So I guess we'll save that time once we get to the singularity split. I actually thought I was going to be able to make it back in time, but... I guess the dialogue is shorter there than I thought it was. <laughs> There's the energy cell. Oh well. Right on the Titan's back. Got the cell. Now on to the grove. Pulse from the tall neck should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. You gotta speed run the pee. The way I did it as fast as I could. <laughs> Even after I deal with Ravala. Ah, yeah, that's a good thing about my new uh, house, is my bathroom is, like, almost right next to me <laughs> when I'm playing. Compared to my old house, like, or uh, the old apartment where uh, my bathroom was literally on the other side of my gaming setup. <laughs> I guess that's the advantage of uh, my new place. Let's defeat Regal in here. All right, so that's how it's going to be. Did a little too close. Wrong. More than my no, because I'm getting so many times and fall. Don't be blue on the wings of the ten. We'll quickly restart from save there. That will allow us to fast crawl. Actually, it also oh, yeah, it places us outside. I forgot about that, which then allows us to immediately walk in here and start the arena quest. Because you have to do a quest to unlock the arena and a trophy for completing stuff in the arena. So therefore we have to start this. Opening the arena. There we go, and then we go up here to start so side quest. Somehow I saved time on Regala. I don't understand how I did that, but fair enough. Oh yeah, I started quest on... Uh, I started some quest on that quest. Or oh, uh, on that split. If we can heal the land gods, it will end that's why I said them. Suffering for my people. How do you think Thane and the chorus will take it? They seem to think the tribe's extinction is inevitable. All right. I've had my disagreements with them, but I'd like to see they'll be happy. Get the sky drift to scan here. Nice. 
Nice. To kill the other machines, so don't get ahead of yourself. Machines killed. We did it. You okay? No, just need to loot the Grimhorns. But I'll be all right. You've got the control cores. I can take them from here. Oh, why is she over here? Come on, sir. I just want to talk to you. There, and then back to base. Get everyone in the control room. Zatilda can tell us what she knows about the place. Hey, friend. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad I heard I was sorry. Oh. <laughs> Any it is guy the most the no, so and okay. I'll take I'll I'm sent my people when you spin one for me. I'll make sure. And now to the hunting ground. Oops. So you may maybe. All right, silent loot trail. Best trials. Just use any rope to jump in, and I'll start timing you. Making good use of this. Messed up, god damn it. I was too slow because I was switching to my sunwing in the menu. Slow too. Are you kidding? Come on! Ah, oh, this fucking trial, dude. God damn it, I also missed a sub in my PB. I was actually hoping I could save some good amount of time here, but... God damn it. Completely messing it up. <laughs> you, I see you live up to the stories, Outlander. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just nail the just other trial there. To start. I look forward to seeing you compete. <laughs> Oh, 
Why did it take like a millennia for the R1 prompt to show up there? Took so long for it to show up. A good hunt. This is for you. To be fair, it's my own fault. I got really greedy with trying to do other stuff. In the middle of the trial, and Jump that messed me up. And we'll begin the trial. Should have just focused on the trial, I guess. All the trials are done. Another challenge. Take this. You've earned it. Hunting around then. I'll be here when you return. That's just what I get for being too greedy and uh, too careless. Anyway, final relic run off the run. Where we use the Sunwing to just drop in here and complete it from the top. Ruin. I have something useful on my own. I should take a look inside. What? Oh, nice. Nailed the jump. There we go. Relic ruins complete. This thing might have had. Something to do with Las Vegas. Maybe I should head back there. And here we're gonna scan, kill, and override a graze. Before we move on. Before I head out, see what else I can find. Shock could do a lot of damage. Override is for the override trophy, because. And then kill is obviously for the kill trophy. I don't know why you wouldn't just pick me up in a situation like that, but whatever. Guess we're going. There we go, let me make sure this quest is active, because this quest can be a little finical. Uh, never Rick, thank you so much for the 100 bits, appreciate it. So right here we can fly in and just do the last middle power. Now I just need to get rid of the spines. It looks like this one's been here for a while. I won't be able to install the reboot code with these vines in the way. But where there's vines... There we go. Powerful. Just making sure the Sky Drifter scan went through, because last run it somehow didn't. Oh. That was a terrible landing, but. At least we got on top of it, so now we can just climb to the top. There we go. So you can see here, with the Sunwing you can just fly up and override the Tolmix. Much faster and easier. Mm -hmm. 
Where's the land go? But I'll have to deal with those machines before I install the reboot code. I really hate the fact that a scrounger has the ability to miss his attack and still hit you just because of the shock. It's so annoying that that's a thing. I think that's all the machines. Time to install this code on that land god. Dombert. That's skill again. Got it. Okay. Let's get this code installed on that land god. Nice and easy. Another land god dealt with. Hey, Zo? Aloy, how goes it? I found T and installed the reboot code. No, oh, one more land god. I feel thankful. T's festival came in winter, when all the grain from the harvest was stored away. It was a season of gratitude, and all the children would receive gifts. The best was my first bow, made of you, strung by my father. Well, he definitely taught you how to shoot well. That he did. How are things on your end? Getting there. A few land gods to visit still. Okay. I'll call you when I'm done with the rest. Thank you, Aloy. Think the land god is underneath that rubble. Actually, wait, I should have just fast rolled to Plain Song itself. Because that's closer than the campfire. Whoops. Oh well. Slightly longer walk of shame, I guess. But now, time to make the land god sing. The song of the tower people. Always a beautiful moment in the game. One of my favorite moments in the game. Now to deal with the best riff. Which is part of the Shadow Eclipse quest, there are two of them, but if you do best rep first, you save a lot of time on the other Shadow Card quest. Looks like some kind of dig site. What's going on here? Yep. With the Sunwing, you can just fly into the Vesref location here and not having to deal with any of the enemies here. Believe it or not. Which saves a lot of time. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this quest, it's part of the trophy called Saving the Dawn, or Save the Dawn, I think it's called. That's what they threw out. And yet, their leader Vesref would have worked. And he's not joining it's time to put an end to this. Which uh, a couple of the quests in the dawn are required in order to. Um... Well, that ravager isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out fast. Take me. Hit her! Looks like nice and easy. Loyal 
I probably could have just shot him from down there, but whatever. We have to listen to the data points here to finish this quest. I left a message in the old shelter in the south. Ariel, thanks for the 15 month freeze up. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the continued so support and hope you're doing well. They'll know to go there for five tribes. Five bombs. But at least I know where. That's what I need. With their capitals in ruins. And we'll have no choice but to submit to my rule. I'll say this for Vesra. Did you find anything? Kind of big. What did you find? There we go. Complete shadow in the west. That is literally how easy that quest is. <laughs> With a sunwing. Now for salvage. There's a trophy for completing one set of salvage contracts. And we'll do the one here close to the dawn, because it's the fastest. And it's close to a lot of the other things we have to do anyway. Something's going on at that camp. I'm counting on you, Aloy. There we go, and then... Here. Yeah, got a really itchy eye right now. It's really annoying. Pretty sure that's the passage Laren's contract mentioned. I should make sure I have my facts straight. Give the contract a quick read. Shulkers use this passage regularly, and Laren wants their plating. Can't remember to scan the shell walker here. Convoy. All transport machines killed. I should salvage what I can and leave the plating for Laren's crew. There we go. Huntress, you're. I took Bond for our. This will... Well, it would just if you. What is? Oh wait, wait! I forgot you have to ask him it's good. about the contracts. Otherwise, you don't get them. We picked our best of. Now, be careful. Kind of forgot that detail. This is what a win you wish. Uh, so now, now we go up here. Yeah, so can I whistle? Whistle for my sunwing. And then let's fly up here and complete the salvage contract. As well as the other Eclipse side quest. And uh, when you do this Eclipse side quest after already defeating Besra, you don't have to go to the prison in Baron Light and talk to the guy. Nor do you have to return to him, so it saves a lot of time doing it. This way around. The machine site Lauren's contract mentioned. I should read it one more time, just in case. Scroungers, just like Lauren said. I need the antennas. I shoot them off one antenna here. I hit it! Just need one more of these. That's all I need. Beautiful. According to what I found in Vesra's camp. This is where the other Eclipse should be hiding out. There must be a way up. <laughs> this looks like a good place for someone to hide. Yes! What are we supposed to do now? We stay on track and make our... This doesn't sound good. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone. Get help! 
help! They mentioned Vesna, but nothing about any other Eclipse cadres. It might be the last of them. And if this Ryad has a focus, it might tell me for sure. I was right. Ryad has a focus. Lord, if you're going to follow him. There we go. Shadow from the West. So that completes the Eclipse side quest. And uh, again, they are part of a trophy called Save the Dawn, where we also have to do Twilight Path and. Um, you won't find trials like these. Twilight Path and what's the other one called? Um, uh, Bristlebacks. Complete all those side quests and you get the trophy for saving the Daunt. Anyway, hunting ground time here. Let's see if I can do this hunting ground a little cleaner than the first one. That's not what I wanted game. You, I wanted to loot this. Welcome back, Potato. How's it going? You did well. Not the your reward, Savior. Everything's set up. Just use the rope to jump in. Uh. Uh, stop moving your butt! Why do machines not have stationary butts? Get over here. There we go. God damn it. <laughs> Why can't machines just have stationary butts? It's incredibly annoying to hit them with a warrior bow. When they move like that. <laughs> Chug and trap troll. And I'll start timing you. It's done. Got an opening. There. Well, we got one. Please hit, thank you. Uh, just need another one to hit a trap. Come on, get over here, one of you. Beautiful. Pretty good hunting around there. That was some good hunting yeah. you did down. Your reward. I need to send a letter to Guerrilla Games and telling them we need more stationary butts in the game. I'm sure that'll give them a good laugh. <laughs> Remain vigilant in your travel. There we go. Hunting ground done. Now back to chain scrape here to talk to Petra and uh we got the priest name, but Sun Priest. We'll start both the Bristleback quest and the Twilight Pass quest. But the the more how no one but I don't know the old look. In hindsight, I probably should have done this when I played Strike. It actually would have saved time. Oh well, hindsight's twenty twenty. Won't fake like what? Well, but if you anyone to come, looking for there and a store and top of the rift muffin. Huh? Yeah, but not that. Well, from up that much. This tall and gum right? Ready. Do I want to have a more static bottle feel? Ah, uh, that that one is pretty bad, but yeah, I guess. <laughs> hey, you up there? Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just. 
just here to keep an eye on things for James Gray. Get to safety. I'll handle the rest. Go, Lakasha. I'll help the Nora. Ready? Go away. Shh, now is ever food for you. Only we've and us. Your pea chains are so okay. He went and he will be falling. This until he will be. And off your end. First, I need let this quest is so sad. The trail, Savile, get rid of it. In case you don't remember what quest this is, this is the one with the religious people. That refuse to move until they get assigned. Here we go. And obviously, the sign ne is never coming. And obviously, this quest you can skip all the climbing you normally have to do if you have a sunwing. How convenient. Get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. So normally there's a ton of climbing you have to do to get up here. And while we're up here, we'll also grab a signal lens. Because remember, there's a trophy. For um should be able There's a trophy for getting one of each collectible. So oh, we got the signal lens while we were up there anyway. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the story of the heart. Come on. Don't I'm a generous gent. So we ain't it Okay, hold on. Oh listen, I I don't care. Both which in you am I she blast it and but come on, I need Hello, no off, maybe I no, I know go to Ch she'll I'll do here to change. There we go, Twilight Path done. And then we head over to the mines to do part of the Bristleback quest. You're stuffed. Hopefully it was worth it. Whatever dinner you had. Have I played any of the Souls games? I have. Uh, I've only played two of them, to be fair. I played Dark Souls 3 and uh, Bloodborne. Trees. It's like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? But how? Unless this cave leads out. Had a platinum trophy in both of them. Glide in? I really like the Souls game, but I just haven't gotten around to play more of them. I want to play Elden Ring eventually, just because, you know. People keep praising that game to the high heavens, so I really should play Elden Ring. Demon Souls? Yeah, Demon Souls remake would be fun to do eventually as well. This one's addressed to Olvind. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Olvind must have gotten greedy. Good for the dialogue, Karen. I should let Javad know what I found. You got sandwiches and a big bowl of uh, salad? Nice. What kind of sandwich? Got the chancha skin there. We'll intentionally grab the horns here, because they'll I'll need them for... Oops. Watch her. Maybe 
there's two scrappers. Are the other scrappers? Where's the only one? Where are the two others? Oh. Normally they spawn in a pack, but uh, I guess not today. Yes. Still needing one more. There you go. I had a really weird spawn here. Oh wait, I do have to kill them, I forgot. I forgot, I thought you only need the antennas or whatever they're called, but nope. You have to fully kill them. I'm stupid. Little bit of a brain fart on my point there. So right here we have to talk to the priest again. So we can progress the bustle back quest. The I'm those no you that all it's the same. Alright. I need to Of course. Then we'll come back later once we have completed the Bristleback quest. But for now, let's finish the last salvage contract. But yeah, as I was saying, I'll definitely play Elden Ring at some point, and I... And I uh, could totally see myself playing uh, Demon Souls Remake eventually. As for Dark Souls 1 and 2, I don't know if I'll ever get around to those at this point. Oh yeah, also Sekiro. I don't know if people count Sekiro as a Souls game. I know some do, but others don't. But, uh, Sekiro is definitely also a game I really want to try at some point. I have a lot of different machine tracks here. I think I need my focus to tell them apart. Sekiro and Elden Ring is definitely on my backlog for sure. They're trying to corner those Osirin. to kill these in order to be able to scan because you're not allowed to scan stuff if enemies are too close really annoying found the fanghorn tracks the trail looks fresh too my focus should help me follow it there you are let's see where you lead Bears to fang on. Fanghorn that breathes fire. I think I found Laren's new friend. I'm gonna have to take it down. Oh yeah, I forgot it actually teleports. Is this game this fair? Uh, that's a lot of lance horns. We gotta get the lance horn scan here. So we gotta Coming kill down. a lance horn. kill the lance one. Let's just make sure I did get the scan. I did. We're good. We are good. There we go. Let me buy some fast roll packs while we're here. Good call. And you'll notice there I'm getting two trophies. One is for completing salvage contracts. Uh, where's the table? Isn't there a crafting table? Oh yeah, it's over here. Uh, and the other trophy is for getting all weapon types, because completing his salvage contracts uh, gives me um, uh, gives me a spike thrower. Therefore, I now have one of each weapon type in the game. So that's why I got two trophies there. Uh, can I upgrade my regular bow as well while we're here? Might as well. So we're gonna get the trophy for upgrading all our weapons here, or upgrading three different weapons, I mean. There we go. And 
now for the bristlebag action. Uh, what are you doing? It's trying to take off. I, I have no idea what that mount was doing. Weird. Alright, bristlebag time. Slow level 30. I'll never go back. Oh, yeah. I thought I heard one. Gotta kill all of them. Out of the draw I forgot to split on salvage, too. I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. There we go. Good time save. And now for the most annoying of the rebel camps. But I think I figured out what I've been doing wrong, so hopefully this time around it goes according to plan. I think I figured out why I messed it up in runs. Let's see what happens. Well, the trick is to not get spotted by the riders outside the camp. And they will automatically spawn you if you get into this circle area you see right below me here. But if you fly around it, like I'm doing now, and glide in, never getting spawned by, spotted by the riders, you should be able to complete this rebel camp without needing to kill everyone. At least I think that's what I've been doing wrong, and why it didn't work last time in the run, because if you were here for the last full run, you might remember I lost a ton of time on this. If I can find whoever's giving the orders around here, I can figure out what they're doing. Shoot her! Getting spotted here shouldn't matter. Are up to. Enemies are too close. I think I was too loud on entry. So let's quickly just take them out. A little faster than last run. Where are you? Hell of a head shit. Where the fuck did you come from? Yeah, so we're not gonna get a massive time save on this split, I guess. Because we still have to kill these guys. Should still be a time save. What? How did that miss? Are you drunk, game? Hello? Should go if it didn't hit him. Please tell me I have killed enough enemies. Ah! Fuck this rebel camp with a fucking fiery passion. Nope. 
Make it brittle. I will have revenge! We've got to stop her! I take it back, this rebel camp is worse than the Gondor races. But now literally every enemy is dead. So no way it can mess me up now, but I really should have saved more time here. To all sons of Prometheus engineers and operatives. Let the I lesson be known, guys. Practice never pays off. So don't waste your I'm practicing anything because it just doesn't pay off to a machine when someone gets careless I get it it's been a long road and yes I'm salty continue to suffer but we're close this alliance will get us what we want I promise the Karja will pay for the red raids in blood and so will all of their collaborators in the Vanguard and back in the claim so shut up get back to work and always remember a reckoning is on the way shut up riley can't him shut up already riley vanguard too i should use my focus see what else i can find the scary thing is i'm probably still saving a lot of time compared to my pb Simply due to the fact that I wasted even more time in my PB somehow. Yeah, it's an air. Tracking movement in and out of barren light. With emphasis on the fort's weak points. Rebel cam completes. Nice. Good time save. Anyway, let's return to the priest there, and now we should get the trophy for saving the dawn and also put. So, right. This will also put Ulwind out of business. So we have now saved the dawn, and Ulwind no longer makes money off this. Anyway, on to next. Uh, what can be? Lost my train of thought there for a sec. This ne the remaining rebel camp should be a lot easier. I'm cutting my armor in this heat. What is happening to your mount? Boop, 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 boop. Let me make sure I use hot or oh, sharp shot arrows. No chance that I Accidentally don't get a kill here. I should take a look in there. Might be a command center. I'm in. Time to see what these rebels are up to. Sons of Prometheus. This one has a focus. Figures. How else would they override machines? Should be stealthy. I better take it. This focus is encrypted. Maybe I can hack into it back at base. Let's see what else these guys have been up to. A map. It marks supply lines, the different outposts. Rebels have been busy making weapons and armor. This is where the rebels make their weapons and armor. And they send it out to their troops. They should destroy as many munitions as possible. That should hurt the rebels' operations. Uh, that was a bad shot. Whoa, not as sneaky as you What's thought. Hey. Got him. You hear that alarm? Ready to engage. Uh, 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 uh
Play that tall one. That's a nice and easy. Rebel cam right there. Good time save. Now we're 10 minutes ahead. Still need five and a half more minutes for sub seven. Until the tall neck here. I should take a closer look. <laughs> well, you're not wrong, Rex. But I don't think there's that much time left. <laughs> Another tall neck done. Then we need to fly over here, scan, and kill the rock breaker. Because there's no rock breakers in any of the quests we have to do. So we we'll have to go a little out of our way to get a scan and a kill for one. Should be one around here somewhere. A little hard to see because of the sandstorm. There he is. Didn't get the scan, but let's get off. Should be able to scan him once he's dead and out of the ground. Hopefully he's not gonna keep doing that. Please just come out. Thank you. Just come out of the ground already. Urgh. Why you gotta be so fancy with your attacks? <laughs> okay, yeah. Sure game. Just make him go sideways for no goddamn reason. Did you see how I dodged there, but then he just randomly turned sideways? Sure game. Sure. <laughs> Whatever, we got him. Anyway, quickly fly up here and get ourselves a survey drone as one of the collectibles. Again, we only need one of them. The trolliest of collectibles? True. Huh. He was trying to send this data somewhere, but the connection was severed. Can't argue with that. We'll just hold on to it. Now for the other ripple camp. At this rebel cam, I'll do a little bit of a specific trick to avoid my sunwing getting killed. Just fly on top of the mountains next to it. And then glide down. Which should prevent them from killing my mount. Because if I just fly over the rebel camp and drop... If I just fly over the rebel camp to drop in... And 99% of the time they end up killing my Sunwing. Meaning I have to get a new one, and that's really annoying. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, we'll 
leave him up here. And then we'll glide into the center of the base here, because you only have to do kill the three guys in the middle here. So we rest us. Camp. That did not hit him. Are you drunk game again? Let me restart from save after killing all three. That way we shouldn't be spotted by any of the enemies, similar to what we did in the first game. And then we can simply examine this. This game desperately needs to block up Perry would have been nice, yes. Picking apart our facilities. And if anyone calls her savior or champion to my face again, I'm gonna punch him in the throat. Sarah, we need you. Hold on to your cogs, I'll be right there. I want her found, and I want her dead. And bring me her focus when you're done. That silence would Perry's feel like QTs. I mean, either or, I don't really mind. To me, they're kind of similar. I just want a way to break, like, a stun lock from a melee attack. Because it's really annoying when it happens. <laughs> it's an override module, like mine. Yeah, and now I just need to... Altered. Destroy the thingamajig, as it's called, and then we'll uh, have completed the camp. I hope machines down like this. And that hammer. And that's all you have to do, and that's camp complete. Or I could take out the rest of the rebels. Then fast roll back. And then all the enemies are no longer there. I can whistle for my mount and fly to the last camp. Exactly, the finger magic. Everybody knows about the finger magic. The watch am I call it. <laughs> also that. <laughs> so in this one we'll do a very similar thing to the last one. We'll glide into the end of the camp here. And kill the leaders. This hopefully we can do it completely stealthy. Please don't kill my mount. See what they're up to. I think they killed my mount. The sons of Prometheus are here. I better take a look around. Enemies are too close. I think I can restart from save here as well. Please tell me that's true. Okay, that's good. That should also save my mount. Okay. Who's alive? That's my mount that's distracting them. Okay, let me try and whistle immediately. As I load in. Hopefully that... Yes! Okay, that worked. To all engineers and operators. 
operatives, return immediately to First Forge. Clearly none of you are competent enough to deal with that blasted Nora. So we'll continue to work where she can't get to us. <laughs> and in the unlikely event that she does, I'll have the pleasure of dealing with her personally. I wish you luck, Cynthia. Sarah has a base. If I can find it, I can put an end to the Sons of Prometheus. What else have they been up to around here? Crap, I have to kill them. Hopefully that's good enough. But unfortunate. What's happening here? Except the command center. Huh? Wait, did I not need to? It just skipped an objective. What? Losing time because this is messed up so badly. Please just walk to your spot already. Who was it that programmed NBCs to always have to walk to a certain spot before you can talk to them? It's not just a Horizon thing, it's in so many games, and I hate it. I downright despise that mechanic in video games. Which developer out there thought it was a good idea to have NPCs walk all the way to a specific spot before you were allowed to talk to them? I still don't know what happened to that cam. That was kind of weird. Not gonna lie. Just like Carla said. Take it down. But something weird happened with that. Something weird happened at that camp. Uh, there we go. Uh, we don't return to base now, no. We just go straight to Katala. This is where the Xenoclab is. Time for the Katala quest. We're scrapping the specters for parts. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what happened at that camp. Normally you have to examine more things there before you're allowed to progress. But for some reason it allowed me to progress this. after just Did listening to Asara. Yeah. Because they killed the enemies, I guess? I don't know. That's kind of weird, but it is what it is, I guess. Let's not think too much about it. But yeah, I just hate in video games when there's that, like, oh, NPC has to stand in a certain spot before you're allowed to talk. Why? If it's because cinematically they have to be in that spot, just teleport me. <laughs> if I start talking to her, just teleport her us to the correct spot. That's about it down there. It's not a big deal. Yep. I better make anyway, let's plant there. some bombs for these specters that are gonna spawn right here. So that we can kill them instantly. We're here. Now we just need to find a way to access the database guy I was talking about. Varo mentioned you found Beta in one of those pods. I would hate to be locked up inside such a... I think I found what we're looking for. Let's hope it holds the answers we seek. I'll download the database to your focus, so you can search through it later. Let's see if the Spectres dies. They should be somewhere on the... Spectres! Fight with honor! Yeah, we got him. The Xenos might send reinforcements. We need to finish up and get out of here. The components should be somewhere on the second floor. I'm right behind you. The Sons of Prometheus? Yeah, there's a good amount of background story to them and the data points and just the stuff you learn from Azera. If you listen to everything she's talked about. I think Aaron also gives you a good amount of information. But I mean, 
I guess you could uh, make an argument, certainly, that the there should be more. I'll keep a lookout. Don't want any more surprises. Good idea. Would have been nice if there was a dialogue to confront Silence about it. Since he's at the base after you beat the main quest, you would always have a chance to really talk to him. Might be out of this room. I mean, I guess he kind of talks about it in the dialogue after you defeat Regala, but some more background on the Sons of Prometheus from him would have been nice. So I guess I kind of agree they maybe could have added a bit more to it, but, you know. The components have to be here somewhere. Start on the barrel. Are in there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Silence just kind of talks around it, doesn't he, when you talk to him Should after he gone? Would have been nice if he... If you could have asked him way more about it or something. Uh, is it true here? I guess it is. No, it's not. Uh, where's the... Oh yeah, it's the hole in the wall. I'm so bad at finding my way through this place. Machines. They're scrapping the specters. There we go. That's good. All done. Now for the enduring. But before we do the enduring, we'll quickly fly up and get a black box right here, which is the final collectible for the collectible trophy. Because then we will have gotten one of each collectible. The enduring is supposed to be around here somewhere, near an ancient plane. Now that I have all three marks, I can challenge them. I'm gonna go fill my water bottle while we wait for the enduring. So I could definitely use some more water. There we go. We've covered five different collectibles. There's the plane. It must be close. And here's the enduring. Where are we going? To the pit, of course. You built your own training pit out here? Good point. Alright, while we wait for the enduring, I'll be right back, getting some more water. This is a pretty steep climb. All right, I'm back. Here we are. Come, let's begin. Did you guys like the Enduring as a character? Or oh, how her build-up is and all that? The way she's just fogged up a lot and all that? Yeah. All right, don't. Huh? <laughs> 
Ooh, you. that was a good fight. Let's go. Well done. I should get back to the over the parts. Really nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I kind of like that style of character too, I agree. Has a certain charm to it. Let me just mark Iota here, so I fly in the right direction. Because I'm always really hard at memorizing the landscape up here. In this part of the map. Of our next cauldron. And then Iota, we're gonna do some pretty big skips. Also known as... Iota, also known as uh, everybody's favorite cauldron. Oh yeah, I mean, I've never bothered practicing melee pits and such. <laughs> so I'm sure I could beat her up way quicker if I put in some practice, I just never bothered. Because melee is... I gotta be honest with you, it's just kind of useless <laughs> when you have good weapons, once you have, like, decent weapons. First little climbing skip right there. This cloud should hide me for a while. We do a second climbing skip right here. We get straight into the tall neck room. So that's what this place is making. The tall neck. The earthquake must have interrupted the process. Just have to expose the core and get those overrides. Well, that can't be good. Okay, time to get those overrides. Oh, nice. I think I must have hit it straight in the back there. Let's go. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm about to do an even bigger skip, very tough. <laughs> Pay attention now. <laughs> you thought that was a big skip? You ain't seen nothing yet, girl. <laughs> oh boy. I said girl because of the quote, you know what I mean. <laughs> Where's that quote even from? I've heard it a lot, but I forgot where it's from. Also nice to do the cauldrons this late in the run, because it kind of shows you which machines you haven't scanned yet. As a little reminder, which ones you still need. All right. So normally you have to do a lot more stuff in this cauldron, but we're gonna do an all skip here. So we're gonna climb up over here, uh, jump around a little bit here. There. Oops. Get on top of these. There we go. Turn around here. Shimmy around this edge. Whoops. Careful not to fall down. Glide around. Grab onto this. Then we do a glitched zip line here. We can move the opposite way on the zip line. And now we at the end of the cauldron where we override this door. And when you override this door, the head of the Tolnik will magically teleport onto it. Without you having to do any of the other stuff in this cauldron. 
now all that's left to do is just climb a little higher so you can jump back on the head of the cult or head of the tonic which we can do by just squeezing through here and glide down and there you go that's that cauldron done And obviously, if you have played this game casually, you probably remember that this cauldron is normally a lot longer. But we just skipped all of it. <laughs> Sub Dorian. <laughs> How's it going? Are well, you just here to yell at Seth? That's totally fine. It worked. Somebody needs to uh, put him down every once in a while. Don't want that ego, or whatever we call it, to get too big. <laughs> Skipped everything but the best pop. True. Feels good to breathe some fresh air again. You wouldn't do that either. And there we go. And back to base. Good time save there as well. Back to being 10 minutes ahead. You have claimed to have an ego before, Seth. Come on now. At least with certain things. <laughs> Alright, here we're gonna talk to Aaron to start the first Forge quest. And so I'll ask about Sons of Prometheus. And then we gotta talk to Cotello about testing his new arm. Yeah, and then before we leave here, let's max out the skill tree. Actually, gotta make sure I get the i to go and let skills here first, in case I don't have enough skill points. Because these skill points are very useful for the hunting round, as you're about to see. Because we need power shredder skill here. Three weapon techniques unlocked. Right here I'm just maxing out the skill tree. I don't actually need these skills to finish the run, but there's a trophy for maxing out one of the skill trees. That's what I'm quickly doing. Uh, two more left. One, and where's the last one? Uh, am I blind? Oh, the, whoops, there. There we go, skill three maxed out. Now for the next underground. Oh, uh, it's a keeper. This oh. right. I'm sure. Slide down a rope to start the trial. Oh. Are you kidding? Kind of weird. Ah, uh, that's not good. I wanted to die. Oh, crap. Can't miss. Okay, we got it. A little too close for comfort there. <laughs> Missing too many shots. An impressive a reward worthy of your victory. So here on the shredder catch crown, you can use the power shredder skill that we learned. And uh, let me just switch to it here. Power shredder. And shooting one power shredder 
counts for this trout. Or shooting two of them. Because normally you have to cat throw them, catch them, throw them, catch them until you get a full blast three times and do that twice. But doing one power straight up throw counts for this trial, even though that makes the trial completely arbitrary. <laughs> even though it makes the trial completely arbitrary, it still counts. And now for the plasma one. There we go. Oh. Uh, what am I doing? I didn't mean to break shot. Jessica, head over the parts. You made a good up. Maybe try another trial. Slide down any of the ropes and we can. That's play. cheating. Sorry. How dare I cheat? Somebody punish me. That should be good enough. Just gotta wait for the plasma to go boom. Oops. Build up another plasma charge. Might as well just use regular arrows. That way he shouldn't die on accident. Boom. And hunting ground up. Head over the parts. Good to see you enjoy an honorable prize for an honorable win. Let me know if you change your mind. Let's quickly restock here. And then um, get down to Katala. To test his arm. And on this quest, I gotta remember to scan the, sc uh, the Scorcher before I kill it. I made that mistake last time. I think this is where Kotala. Someone's being awfully mysterious. You took your sweet time telling me what you wanted to do to the bulwark. Consider this my revenge. Fair enough. Consider this my revenge. This is it. What am I looking at? Oh, you'll see. Come. Scan the scorcher. Boom. There we go. Aided it gets all. Pick the mark this one. Got the trophy for aiding Godzilla. And now for the first to fly quest. And just a friendly reminder, we do first to fly because there's a trophy for completing two different uh, flying mount quests. There are actually four of them in the game. Uh, but there is another part. There are four of them in the game total and first to fly. Plus, uh, Tides Justice are the two fastest ones to do. Whoa! It must be the Stormbird that killed Farika. Need to get an angle here. Looks like another bit of armor. The high ground and the storm burn here. Nice. Good 
Yo, Michael, thank you so much for gifting us out to Dorian. Really appreciate the generosity. Thank you so much. Uh, let's just do this. Good thing is the stone bird is programmed to land up here so you can loot it. For the object to update. I should like it's not oh. I recovered what's left of Rika's kit. Apparently you have to wait for all of Aloy's dialogue. Fair enough. And Dorian, enjoy the emotes. Thanks again, Michael. We gotta repair the armor, and that's first to fly down. There we go. The Rika, the armor done. Good time save on that one, too. Now for Kappa. AKA the Twitch Cauldron, as some people like to call it. <laughs> Not good enough, go faster. Damn. The disrespect from a fellow Horizon Runner. I should ride a angry pace bin to cancel you, Greedy. Because <laughs> isn't that what speedrunners do? Write an angry pacepin, throw it on Twitter, and then cancel the other runner. Looks like it's underwater and heavily guarded. But if we can get to its floor, should be able to. Please get off, Aloy. Took forever to get off there. It's going underground. Please come out of the ground. Why is he taking forever to come out of the ground? Oh. Shells never is annoying. I have to kill a shell snapper for the kill all machine trophy. got four bolts. Uh, that sucks. Might have to farm another bolt later. A little unlucky on that one. If I want to upgrade my outfit that I need to farm XP, I need another bolt. Bolt. He loves all the shells and everyone kept flying. Yeah. I like smart mobs a lot better when they can't reach me. Oh well, guess we have to seek out another shell snapper. Luckily we have campfire right next to one, so shouldn't be a big deal. Catch a ride, I guess. Why did you jump off? What? What? Aloy! 
Hello? What are you doing? Did you did you see that? She just grabbed onto and I was like, I'm gonna let go. Why? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Just grab the thing and climb up. Yeah. There we go. That's a snap more killed. And a snap more scanned. Do -do -do -do. And if you thought we were done doing skips in the cauldron. Well, you're about to see another one. Because we're about to skip the big water puzzle. Why is that dialogue so delayed there? Strange. Instead of having to lower or make the water go higher and lower, I think three times you normally have to do it in this room. You can just climb up like that. Override the middle section here. Get the water. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, to the mid level. And then we can do a little bit of a skip here on these wires. Climb all the way to the top. Glide over to the really big wires. Most likely pipes. And skip the water puzzle room. And don't worry, the water will be all the way to the top when you uh, get back into the other room. Because I guess it has a bit of soft lock prevention for that. Then right here, we'll do a jump up here. Slide over here, a load grab start, and jump onto that. And that skips this room. And now all that's left is to kill the Tide Ripper. The menacing Tide Ripper. Apex Tide Ripper, that is. Smooth Operator, indeed. Smooth Operator. <laughs> Maybe this cauldron is Ocarina of Time Water Temple reference? I mean, they could be uh, inspired from it. Like I said, back in Cauldron Moo, there is a Legend of Zelda Easter egg. <clears throat> Based on Ocarina of Time. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I could be wrong. I don't think there's any Easter eggs in this cauldron. I, can't I think it's only Moo that again. has a direct Easter egg. The cauldrons. There are other Easter eggs, but yeah. That thing's not gonna let me get anywhere near the core. Don't can you push me towards the thing instead of away, please? Gotta corroborate here outside river. Something that might be an interesting idea. I don't think it would be an interesting run to watch. At least on stream, but you could make it into an interesting video if you did like an all all Easter egg speedrun or something. Go and find all the Easter eggs in the game. So yeah, notice how the water is magically at the top level now, even though I only put it in the middle. I don't know how that happened either. It just does, which is convenient. <laughs> Now for the Tide Ripper fight. Here we go. Yeah, it's in Cauldron Moo there's a Triforce that you didn't can put in the Ocarina code or whatever it's called. Did I really just 
God damn, that was a major stormtrooper action. <laughs> We're done here. Time to get those overrides. But yeah, inside Moo, there's a tripod inside the cauldron, and if you play the I don't know what it's called, because I never played a Zelda game, but the Ocarina song, you know, left, right, up, down, or something. I don't know the inputs for it. But if you do that in front of the Triforce, it opens the door and plays a little Zelda sound. And there's some loot on the other side. Loot is nothing special, but it's there. It is a thing. I'm scared to slow the thing yet. Gotta keep that in mind. Camera is always so weird here. But yeah, would be cool to. I'm sure there are already videos on YouTube of uh, people showing all the Easter eggs in the game, but. I guess I could put my own spin on it. Record a record a speed run where I go get all the Easter eggs, and then turn that into a video showing all the Easter eggs. You know, put my own spin on it if you will. <laughs> anyway, time for first forge here. And fun fact, there's also an easter egg inside First Forge. Uh, I can't show it in the middle of the run, but there's a Donkey Kong easter egg in here. But I got my hammer ready. Hey, Lloyd. Hey, uh, let's get it. Ready to be alone! Get off! Oh, they weren't expecting that. That's it. Kill her! Absolute atrocious shooting right there. Is he standing under the trap? He's not. But he would be. Uh, this is gonna require a little bit of a brace. Get her. But this guy is wearing a helmet. Would you mind not stun lugging me, sir? But yeah, eventually I need to do like a Easter egg run. I really like the idea of it, the more I talk about it. Line by uh, Aaron there. I don't know if he said that because of uh, <laughs> me doing the. <laughs> of me getting a headshot there, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, still got a guy in the bank here. Gotta remember to. I guess we're not going for stealthy. Clearly not, Aaron. Clearly not. Fire! What is that head shake?
Beautiful. Pretty solid shooting, especially compared to my last run. I remember wasting a lot of time in here. What was that? It sounded like a tripwire. Be careful, Aloy. Sarah really likes her booby traps. And you still like the sound of your own voice, Aaron. Sarah. Oh, I don't think so. We took out the bridge. We have to find a way through. Aloy, all right, there's a draft here. It's got to be another path. Too bad there's no way to get to it. Yeah, hold that thought. Hold that fort. It's hammer time. I, was wrong. I could be handy once Watch in a while. Yeah. You okay? I will be when we catch a Sarah. Keep now. What are we supposed to do? I got this. Should have thought of that. Come on. Wires. What does it look like? A sheet. Any kind. Get him, boys. Ha! Yeah. Should we have you think sure? Okay, by the There we go. If he did that, sir. Can I use my mount today again? Nope. So I guess we are fast rolling down the mountain again. Oh yeah, big time save there. Beautiful. Uh let me quickly put on the sunch ground here. Here. And let's put on three carls, because there's a trophy for that. Uh, I think three different curls on a weapon. Uh, what are we putting on? Uh, is this everything I had? Uh, whatever. Uh, it's random on. Yeah, enchanted wood curls. Would you rather continue to play Horizon Forbidden West or play Titanfall? What? I mean, I played both games, and both of them are really good. Most knock look wounded. That's a really weird would you rather. <laughs> Nightfall is amazing. Yeah, exactly. Why not both? <laughs> and now I'm flying to the top of the mountain here because there's a trophy for gliding. For 60 seconds straight, which we are now going to do. Calling we gently. Now we just glide for a minute. Cue the elevator music. <laughs> Podcast time. Would I date someone if they had lobster claws instead of hands? Hmm. 
It would be an interesting story, so sure. <laughs> Since you just said date. <laughs> but who knows, they could be an interesting person. But I feel like they would need a lot of help with stuff. <laughs> Because jumping off the mountain is clearly cooler. Okay. <laughs> there you go, there's the trophy. And now we fly into the big forest here. Or stand of the sentinels, I believe this forest is called. And we land on top of a tolnik. Because there's a tolnik in the forest. But yeah, technically I guess you could just fly really high and just jump down, but is that really fun? Nah. Uh, in between the trees there, there's a little sketch. Uh, let me fly around. There we go. Got him. to the tree term where we're gonna start the side quest Tides of Justice which is the second of the two um, something. I can't just lie here. the second of the two um, flying mount quests we have to do for a trophy who are these rapes that could fly out to sea to search for those raiders <laughs> and after this, we'll quickly head over to Land Falling In to do Elva's side quest. Forbidden Legacy. Package from a raft. Maybe those fugitives didn't make it too far after all. I'll only find out if I go down. Where did the rock just walk. disappear? Oh. You're one of the raiders who attacked Tide's Reach? Have to listen to the dialogue here before we can leave. On top of a tower across the sea to the west. And you can skip this dialogue. <laughs> I left them. I thought that they were troops and not, but they're murderers, not soldiers. The rug is scared of me. Reach, think you should all face Fair. Then they should come and get me them. So I decided to hit in a different dimension. And find the others. Leave me here to face the sea. My last battle. Probably hit itself in Alpine. Alrighty. No. Alva said one of the diviners here might know. Well, we can skip half of the climbing. Better go to the campfire. Apparently, uh, I cannot make it active. Diviner Alva. Come on, let's. Nope. Uh, Whatever. Yeah. I want to have been legacy active so I can see when the objectives update. It's quite important in this quest. First, we just have to follow Alva here. And she's a little slow and doesn't exactly walk in a. What one would call a. Straight line to where we are going, but you know, Elva, you do you. And with the overseers, he has every right to be. 
I don't remember to scan this little thing on this quest. Since the greenhouse, uh, it's so much more than what we're permitted. Diviners are supposed to seek the truth, and yet so much that should be the facility ahead. Yeah, we are already on very close to the sub seven pace, and we haven't even gotten to the extremely big time saves yet. Well, Amiric wasn't lying about crumbling ruins. It's looking really good. Let's look around. That's not good. Whatever it is. Whoa, that, that thing is huge. We'll have to take it out if we want to find there that. Uh, Please okay. just go around the tower already, Mr. Snake. Why did I shoot early? Why am I being silly? Let's pop the Valor Search and get this over it. Why am I constantly out of ammo here? Could have been better. Well, I guess we'll take it. Wow. I should be able to look around for that data. Oh. And then we'll use the mount here a, a to just skip all of the climbing we normally there. have to do here. Let's go. Console. It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. Lead on. So Alba, please just walk in a straight line, I beg of you. Omuramba? The legacy tells us it was the predecessor to Leviathan, a system that manipulated floods to bring life to a barren desert. Quen seemed to know yeah, how are you guys feeling about the Quen in this game? Diviner spent years trying to figure out how to restore Leviathan. We found a lot of data on I really want to learn so much more about the Quen. Gonna have to find another way in. The soldiers built a path on the nearby ruin. Might be able to cross over from there. Lead the way. That's also why I feel like they're gonna do a DLC about relating to the Quinn. Just because I feel like there's a lot of story left untold with them. And also, we don't have any Quinn outfits, we don't have any Quinn weapons, you know? I just feel like it's. Someone's lit a fire. It must be the it seems almost obvious that to me that the Quinn will be a major part of the DLZ. So the first part of the climbing here where Alva has to follow us, unfortunately we can't just skip this with the... Uh, with the Sunwing. It's only the second half of the climb we can skip. Yes. Don't worry about me. Please just climb straight up, Aloy. What? Arr, come. On. Normally she can just climb up there. I swear. Why is she not doing it now? Come on. Glen talk. Great. I don't think so. Whatever. But we'll have to be careful. <laughs> I'm starting to get salty again. Oh, that beam looks promising. Why is she just not climbing? You've done it so many times before. Just do it. Uh, this is a lot uh. higher up than I thought. Glint talks. Oh, we have the element of surprise. Or we could sneak by and. Are I scan the Glint Hog? I have. Fall off the tower. Uh, there. No more Glen Talks. Up this way. Uh, there. No more Glen Talks. Nice. Repeating dialogue. My favorite. <laughs> uh, Aloy? What? <laughs> really high off the ground. I mean, yeah, they could be saving the Quinn for third game. I just kind of feel like they seem a lot like the Banuk in the first game, where Banuk was also a tribe that let. 
had a lot of questions unanswered. We didn't really have many. I think we only had one Banuk outfit and no weapons. So we're kind of Banuk based. Okay, Alba, your turn. Better make sure Alba makes. Okay, Alba, your turn. Right. Yeah. Aloy, can you watch me and make sure I do this right? You actually have to watch her here. It's okay. Please don't break. I feel like they're kind of like the Banu right now was in the first game where you. Alva. Oh, the way, rest in peace, Alva. I'm okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that would have been a long way to fall. Come on. Oh, the door's locked. You sure you're okay? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Got it. Let's Door should going. be unlocked now. Maybe the data on the And we have to listen to this. We're talking about so I feel like there's just so much left unanswered with the Quinn that it seems like Omaranda. almost obvious that we're gonna go Morris. for them. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad. Shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge... The whole ocean away? Well, Aloy gets on a boat with Alva and sails to their land. How about you let me worry about that? Sure, it takes some time, but that's a way of doing it. And then you have a separate map to work with. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Oh yeah, it's an Agano Tower, because you only see one of each, and you barely hear about the Tower. Almost nothing about the Quinn. So right here we can use the Sunwing to skip the second half of the climbing here, because Alva doesn't actually have to follow us on the second one. That's good. Uh, please, just go straight up. Thank you. And then you'll hear some dialogue that is not lining up at all, but it makes it funny. Because okay. we'll blow up this and pay attention to when Aloy wants Alva here. The elevator might fall and open up a path for Alva. Hey, uh, Alva? Step away from the shaft. Whoa! <laughs> oh! So the warning happens after the oh, elevator falls down. Aloy. Looks like there's another floor above. Might be Eileen's office. Aloy just not caring okay. at all I'll about safety. Okay. <laughs> all right, Alva's on the way. Maybe according to a Aloy, Alva is expend expendable. And let me see, 40, 26, 25. Is the code here? Another 40, 26, 25. These are the I don't know, we'll see the whole city from up here. Made it! Corner office. Skip cutscene, and there we go. Why not glide down? You're going to what? Just thinking about it. Very nice. No, oh, not the drone. Uh, Tides of Justice. Yeah, it's over here. It is over here. Up there, there's someone flying. Who is that? Okay, that's the Raiders. Who cares? They Bring are. it. That's the last of them. Those raiders won't be attacking Tides Reach again, or anyone else. The dialogue. There you go. Completed. Completed. Two flying man quest. Very nice. Oh wait, I went to the wrong campfire. Whoops. Went to the wrong campfire. Uh, go down here. 
Whoopsie. I got the tonic. <laughs> so I haven't done the tonic. Uh, this way. This market, so I fly in the right direction. Uh, let's see if I can get a stalker in the way. We haven't scanned a stalker yet. Last time stalkers didn't spawn here, so... Hopefully we're a bit more lucky this time around. Need to scan and kill a stalker. Hmm, sounds like we're unlucky again and no stalker spawned. Rip. Guess we'll have to find a stalker elsewhere. Just like last time. But the stalker is fairly close to the arena, so it will be fine. Don't worry about it. It must have been the Tonic sending the signal. Go talks. Better be careful. I don't know why Stalkers just doesn't spawn there for me. Are they part of some quest or something? I think my weapons are good enough to do that, <laughs> Pansy. <laughs> that looks like the part I'm looking for. Time down, one to go. I guess in the set loadout maybe, but I don't know the strats to get a, like a super quick time in that. The second tall neck part. I'll be taking that. Mount, please. Uh, don't get shut down. A little too close to comfort. Yeah, it's just a almost a very precise propelled spike throw or something like that, right? And you more or less one shot it. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. I think they're hitting my mount. Gotta be bigger here. There we go, this cutscene is unskippable. But yeah, I think you just have to be unlucky. Oh, sorry, uh, lucky with your propelled spike crew, but. I mean, I can try, but no guarantees, I guess. Oh, really? I'll keep that in mind for 100%, Viola. Welcome back. Now I just need to find a way to climb aboard. I thought the tall neck parts didn't spawn until uh, you had uh, scanned it. I'll keep it in mind. Could be or uh, definitely useful information found though. There we go. Last tall neck done, so that should be another trophy. Fast travel. Lost time there because I fast traveled to the wrong place. I would definitely save some time for sure. If you only have to jump in the water once. Alright, time for the final rebel outpost here. And this rebel outpost, I gotta remember, you not just kill and loot the but you also have to open a chest. This is for the poor outpost trophy. Judging by that armor, I think I'm gonna lose in charge. Oh, got the self kill. Let's check this one for tags. And I believe the box is just right below. Here we go. And we're out of him. Oh. Yo. 
And then kind of a cauldron cheap. There you go. Fall rebel outpost complete. Final cauldron time. And before we enter this cauldron, let me learn some skills here. I'll just speed up this cauldron a bit, which is the heavy lifter, because we have to carry something heavy. So might as well save some time by learning the heavy lifter skill. And here I'm gonna remember to scan and kill Clambadron and Frostfall. Also, we gotta make sure I get the tail dusters from the Clambadros. I need two of them. This little cheesy jump here. Nice, first try. No, normally you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> but imagine doing everything the intended way. <laughs> Why not be a rebel and do it the way you want to do it? Why not just be a rebel? And just not care about the game's rules. <laughs> Frost claw. Oh, it's not gonna go down easy. Maybe there's something to fight. Focus might help me. Frost claw down. As well get some stealth kills for well, the stealth trophy thank you Kaida and appreciate it hope you're doing well yeah if I remember correctly I lost a lot of time in this cauldron in my PB so hopefully we can remedy some of that <clears throat> I did scan the frost claw, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. I guess we'll find out when we override the cauldron. Because then we get the override for it. I know there's a cool skip in the cauldron, I just didn't have time to learn it before uh, these runs. And also, it's a little too glitchy for what I want this run to be. Because you literally go straight out of bounds. Oh, I just have to scan it. Oops. I thought I had to override it, I don't mean. I gotta wait now. Because I know a lot of people, when I do these Platinum runs, they like to watch the video and follow along. So I don't want to do something that is seemingly too complicated uh, for the video. And the skip you can do and she I would definitely qualify as uh, too uh, complicated for, Maybe I can reach those vents. Uh, for a very casual player. 
But yes, there's a big out of bounds skip you can do in this cauldron. Uh, oh yeah, it's up here. Whoops. Look at the way I'm supposed to go. All right, gotta get the tail duster here. Like me touching it stuck. I can't let it take that part back. Uh, I should stun it actually. Make my life easier. Oh, please don't. Is that gonna kill it? Nope. Just stun it so I can get. Give me your tail. There you go. I need two of the tails to upgrade a outfit I need for the XP farm. In case you're wondering why I went for the tail. Looks like there used to be a bridge here. I'll need to reactivate it if I want to get this card across. I gotta stop double tapping. Double tapping triangle and Aloy picks it up twice. Or just picks it up again. <laughs> Making me look very silly. More so than normal. Before you ask. weapon wheel when you're carrying something because then Aloy just drops it. Machines are gonna spawn any second. Maybe it's not until the battery's on. I forgot when they spawn. Just a little closer. Pizza. Company. Guess they didn't like me messing with their scrap. Got it. And over the tail. That's damage to him. Eat the other tail. Doom. got two tail dusters <laughs> again I need it for uh, outfit upgrade so I can farm XP as fast as possible in case you're wondering why I'm getting him
Well, some lucky critical damage. But we'll take that. Do 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 do, and now we just need to find the slow the thing. Don't like the sound of that. There. Now I need to reboot it. Or not. I already scanned one when I was with Alma. I think I'm about done with this place. As you can see, it's time save. Best possible time below seven hours again. Good. All cores overwritten. And we did scan the first one. Any machines missing here? Should only be the stalker. I'm not sure if that override is this cauldron. Should only be Stalker and Spectre Prime I'm missing at this point. Yeah, Stalker. Yep, just Stalker and Spectre Prime. Are the only machines we're missing? Good. Guess I'm blasting my way out of here. But first, for the final hunting round. Do 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 do. Uh, I got the campfire up here. inside okay time to take a look around I think I messed up a lot on this hunting ground if I remember correctly Seem to remember me messing up a lot on it in my uh, PB run. Down now. I see. Like. Uh, sure and remove. Go down a rope into the grounds, and I'll start timing you. Ah, uh, what? Ah, uh, that was not the... Sorry about what? No, hit it. Thank you. I need to buy some more fast roll packs. A prize for the victor. All right, mounted combat. Lie down a rope to begin your trial, hunter. <laughs> And here we get the trophy for having written all the mounts. Mm. 
done. Really? Kermitsask is so annoying in this trail. Uh, this hunting ground is weird, fancy bands. With the... Depends on where you are in the arena, whether you can restart from save or not. There we go, second trail down. Last one. Well on that truck for you. And here we also get the trophy for using five different weapons. Grounds. Or pickup weapons, because we're about to use the Tremitus pickup weapon. See if I can... Yes, I got the stun. Uh, where did the gun go? Am I blind? Oh, it went all the way over here. Getting his stun just to prevent him from... Oh, that actually hit. To prevent him from annoying me while I do the trial. See, so yeah, I restarted from save and spawn down there because I was in that side of the arena. The ten would for you. There we go. That's the final hunting round now. So we also get a trophy for that. I'll be waiting. There we go. Very nice. Uh, so now. Let me mark this on the map. Oh, big time save. Let's go. Some pretty big time saves here at the end of the run. Now we quickly head down, kill a stalker, and scan a stalker. Or the scan all machines trophy, and I think it's kill all what they call combat machines, I think. And then we'll do the arena. And in the arena, you get a trophy for just completing one set of arena challenges, which means we're doing the beginner one, I think it's called. Because you have to do them in order, so even if you wanted to do one of the other ones, you can't. <laughs> There we go, killed all combat machines. And there's the stalker scan. To the arena. I gotta make sure I've crafted fully here for the arena, just so I don't have to do it in the middle of it. That's annoying. Simply, and you can ex not just that's you, you'll be after I'm here. I'll take ori. Well, then, if you'd like, Biden. Oh, good. All right, let's begin. Pack hunters. You only have to beat one set, so the first four challenges. Sounds like we're back to having an audio bug again. And reboot the game after the arena here again. And 
this challenge, even though it's called machine reinforcements, if you kill the machines fast enough, there's no reinforcements. Fun fact. <laughs> Now, boost battle. There we go, he's down. Uh, let me see, get some freeze on these guys. And rematch. Let's see if we can uh, get that good time here. Can we get lucky? Probably not with the position he is in. Well, let's just do it this way, I guess. Sure, we get that on him. I need more of the Oh, nice. Got him. Yeah, not a great time for story difficulty, but we got him. <laughs> get the perfect kill there. You do need a little bit of RNG, I assume. But that's the arena trophy done. Never a dull moment when you're... Very nice. And here, let me reboot the game just so we don't have an audio bug for the rest of the run, because that's going to be really annoying. It's roughly every two hours, or two to three hours, you get the audio bug. I'll happily eat the time loss from rebooting the game. Because I don't want to have audio bug too much. Because it's annoying to play with. And if I want to make a good video out of it, it's going to be annoying to listen to too, as well. She who flies on the wings of the tent. All right. Uh, I never started the final quest at the base. I forgot to do that. Uh, I guess we're heading back to do that which means um yeah i was supposed to do this before uh, heading to sheer side but whatever let's just do it now yeah i had a really bad arena in my playthrough and i think i also took a while to figure out where to no um uh... No, in my PB, I had a bad arena, and I also had a... I had a bad arena, plus I had to seek out a couple of machines that I forgot to scan. That's what it was. Now we'll finish the main quest, and after that, there's only some cleanup to do. Because well, now we have basically completed all quest-related stuff we need to do. Slash side activities. And also, I'm probably going to save a lot of time on this split as well, because last time uh, in my PB run, I took a long bathroom break on the singularity split, so... Wouldn't be surprised if there's a massive time save in this split as well. <laughs> so we're getting close to the end, but do Kim and Ryan, we still have to spend 40 minutes, or thereabouts, farming XP as well, so... Yeah, still, still a lot to go. <laughs> Even though it feels like we are very close to the end. Oh, almost went straight to the campfire. 
That would have been a big brain fart. I'm not doing the skip here. <laughs> not doing the speedrun skip. Can you imagine? Just throwing away like what, two or three minutes? <laughs> I don't know how much in total the skip actually saves at this point, but it saves a lot at this point. Probably close to two minutes. If not straight up two minutes, whoa. <laughs> he almost took him with me there. Come on, map. There you go. Good boy. It was 40 seconds time save when you hit all the checkpoints, like we had to do at one point, but when they patched it so you didn't, at some point, uh, it obviously saves a lot more time, now that you only need to regal the checkpoint. But that's probably another, at least another minute on top of it. Because hitting all the checkpoints took a longer time. I don't think they did that intentionally, but at one point we definitely had to hit all the checkpoints. But somewhere along the line... They patched it out, and we didn't notice until... I forgot who it was, but somebody figured out you didn't need to hit all of them all of a sudden after New Game Plus came out. Was it beat up that figured that out? But back when I originally found a skip, you definitely had to hit all of them. No questions asked. I tested that over and over again, and I couldn't get it to work. Alright, Eric. Get good distance, pop bonus search, and pop Eric. Really? You okay? I will be. In time. Go. And now just a battle with the crazy X. Is Tilda an X? I guess not for like Aloy, because Aloy. It's complicated, I guess. She's an ex for Sobek, even though it seems like Sobek. From Sobek's point of view, it almost seems like they didn't really have a relationship officially. I don't know. It's it's complicated, I guess. Including the lift. I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. Oh, the rep that found it out. Okay, I see. I almost have it. Aaron, is everyone all right down there? <laughs> you can. I mean, you did contribute a lot. Don't talk yourself down like that. <laughs> Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess when I tell Don Gerard left then. Aloy, you there? I guess she is. You could almost see her as a stepmother since Aloy sees Sober as her mom. I guess stepmom would probably be the closest. But I guess it's not stepmom if they broke up. There we go. Trophy fall machine scan. Because you're automatically given the Spectre's Ram scan. Scan, because so many people used to miss it before they patched it. And here we have to skip the cutscenes, but we watch them all the time in normal speedruns, so... Elizabeth. Don't worry about it. There we go. Nemesis discovered. Which is the trophy for beating the main quest, obviously. In case you didn't know. 
Uh, so now we go down here. Let me fast travel to that campfire game. Oh yeah, I saved a minute because I didn't have a bathroom break. All right, so next thing we are working on is the remaining overrides, because remember, there was a trophy for overriding 10 different machines? Well, got a couple left on that. So we'll quickly get a leap lasher right here. We need three more, by the way. So we'll get a leap lasher here. Please just leave me alone so I can do this. There we go. And then we go over here and get a Glenhawk. I'm not sure why you landed all the way over here. That looked kind of weird, but I guess we'll go with it. There we go. Glenhawk overridden. One more machine to go. And that will be a Lantern. Which we can find up here. Uh, what's the closest campfire? I guess this one. Oh, uh, mount, please. We can either do lands on here or behemoth. And Lanthorn is, if you ask me, much easier. Because <laughs> a lot of the other machines that I know open world require us to repair their overrides before we can override them. So we uh, don't have that many options for which ones we can override. Maybe we can get some stealth kills here as well if I'm careful. Please. Be nice to get some of those stealth kills out of the way. Come on, game. I think they spotted me. There we go. Ten machines overridden. So there we go. And we'll quickly farm the stealth kills by... Uh, let's go to the charter side here. The next thing we do is uh, finish up the stealth kill trophy. There's a trophy for stealth killing 10 machines. I'm not sure how many I'm missing, but I haven't seen the trophy pop yet, so let's quickly sneak up on these guys. Oh, I was missing one. There we go. Now we head all the way to landfall, because now we're going to upgrade the pouches. Smoke bombs for stealth. Uh, do I still have a smoke bomb? I'm not sure. Probably. And this time we don't need to hunt the animals, because I forgot that you can just buy stuff last time around. Let's just buy the stuff we need. <laughs> uh, let me get my note here. We need... Uh, we need two boar heights. There we go. We need one fox hide or fox skin. Let's call it that, because you guys always laugh when I say it. Uh, and then two squirrel heights. Apparently we already have one. And we need uh, one fox bone and one squirrel bone. Oh, we already had the scroll bone. Whatever, let's buy it anyway. Let's head over here and upgrade the pouches. So there's a trophy for upgrading every pouch type. Which we'll do right here. So we need to upgrade potions. Uh, resources. Food. One of the ammo types. I'm obviously doing precision, so I can do more brace shots. And traps. There we go. That's all the pouches done. Um, let me see. Then it's outfits. We need to fully upgrade three different outfits. Hmm. 
And obviously we're doing the green ones because they are the ones that are easiest to do. Need one more. There we go, that should give me the trophy. Three outfits upgraded. Beautiful. Then we quickly go up here and buy an outfit. The one we need for the farm, which is the Nora Valiant. I uh, haven't gotten a clamper jaw circulator, apparently. We quickly have to go out and get one of those. Uh, this campfire. I guess this campfire is closer. This outfit is the one I use so I can farm XP as fast as possible. Because it gives me a lot more stamina. So I can keep using Bray Shot over and over. Without a care in the world. Crap, he ended up up there. Um, I can solve this. Uh, need to get on top. Climb a little higher. Can I load it? I saw the prompt. There we go. Got the circulator. Uh, and let me quickly farm out, because I know I'm missing one. I'm missing one uh, bolt from a shell snapper, because I only got four from the one from Kappa. So let's quickly farm another one, which is uh, this way. Let's need one. I need five for the upgrade. Should be able to just pop one off, right? There we go, shell bolt. Gun, back to landfall. Let's get the outfit and upgrade it. Hey, the patrol went well, I take it. Ancestor. Yeah. A word. So. so here we go. We buy the Nora Valiant and obviously equip it. And then we upgrade the first two levels. So we got. Max stamina and max stamina region. Or not max, but pretty close to it. Level 1 and level 2 give us stamina regen 1. There we go. And before we farm XP, let me quickly check the trophies and see if I've forgotten anything. It should just be XP and... Uh, yeah, level 50, that's the XP one, and it should be shoot off 100 components and buy the outfit die. Should be the only ones missing. Yeah, 100 components, we had 67. We'll farm that, and this is the outfit die, okay. Cool, we haven't forgotten anything, let's farm XP. And now we are 30 minutes ahead, let's go. Uh, let me buy machine muscle right away because I noticed I'm low. All right, now for the tedious XP farm. For the hunt? Use any of the ropes to jump into the grounds. I'll start the trial. <sighs> uh, do, 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 do. 
they will be killing this Trematusk over and over again because it's the fastest way that I personally know of of farming XP. Try that trial. You can give that trial another try if you want. Slide down a rope to begin your trial, Hunter. So now we just need to hit level 50. And by the way, farming XP here, last time it took 44 minutes. I've gotten much better at it since, but it's probably still gonna take 40 minutes. Just a heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Farming XP is tedious because you don't actually get enough XP from just doing the necessary stuff from that you have to do to complete, uh, you know, the quest. I did upgrade the armor to level two. You should give. Them there are other trials. You can take so basically the way I farm XP is just failing this trial over and over. It doesn't matter that I fail it because I get XP every time I kill. I get 5600 XP for every time I kill the Trematos game. And even if I missed a two shot here, I can switch to tap blast arrows, shoot the cannons, which knocks off a couple of parts and also kills them. Because remember, I still need to farm parts for the Tail of 100 Parts trophy. Learn from you can give that so even if them is a shot, I can farm parts instead. Slide down a rope to begin your trial. But in my testing, this is the fastest way of farming XP. Yep. I mean to do that. Unless somebody finds an incredibly insane way to farm XP really fast, um, this run is not going to improve by much. For another hunt. Basically, every time his dialogue is there, in between me, in between me starting or ending the last quest and starting it again or trial, sorry, I basically craft ammo. That way, I'm wasting as little time as possible. You can't wait. Right here, you talk to him. Another try if you want. Craft. And start. Slide down a rope to begin your trial, Hunter. Also, it's important you don't go too far forward here. If you go a little too far forward and you restart from safe, you will spawn uh, away from the hunting ground on the opposite side. That's why I'm intentionally staying as close to the trial area as possible, or uh, to the give that trial another try if you want. To this guy as possible, I guess you could say. Use any of the ropes to jump into the grounds. I'll start the trial. But yeah, unless some insane XP glitch gets found in the future, or maybe in the DLC, who knows? I don't think uh, we're gonna get much slower than sub seven hours in this category. Also, one thing, you gotta make sure you don't restart from save too early, because then the XP might not count. So you gotta keep your eye on that. Other trials you can take on. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying his dialogue, because you'll be hearing it a lot for the next, I don't know, 35 minutes. So better get used to it. <laughs> They don't get used to it. That trial. You can give that trial another try if you want. Pick a rope and slide down to begin the trial. Mm. But of course, if somebody is watching this and have a way better way of farming XP, then do let me know. But I personally haven't found anything that's better than this. You can't win that you can do on another try if you want that you can do in the middle of this run Slide down a rope. that being said i haven't found anything that's better outside the run either because you gotta remember we don't necessarily have all the best weapons in this run given the fact that we just do bare minimum so keep that in mind before you come up with a xp farm if you are 
thinking of something, you gotta you remember the limitations of the, mark of a good the run. Missions of lower? Uh, the missions that give a lot of XP, there's a couple that give like 20,000 XP. Uh, those are definitely slower, because, uh, you know, those are some of the longest side quests in the game. And every time I kill this Tremotusk, I get 56,000 XP. And the quest, let's be generous, you get 20,000 for completing the quest, and let's say another 10,000 for killing all the machines in the quest. So 30,000 total. Uh, those quests are not faster than uh, just killing six Tremotusk, which would also give you 30,000 XP. So doing more quests is not faster. <laughs> and also I think there's only like three quests that we haven't done that gives you 20,000 XP. Is the mark of a good hunter. Use any of the ropes to jump into the grounds. I'll start the trial. But again, I am not all-knowing about this game. The only way I can become an expert at this game is to cooperate with other people that know a lot about this game. So, if you happen to be one of those people you and you somehow know of a way better way to farm XP, hunter. hit me up. <laughs> Whether you're watching live or, uh, rope into the or maybe Most watching this run later on YouTube. Because uh, we will be doing another trophy run. It might not be another platinum run, but we'll definitely do another trophy run in the future when DLC comes out, as I've talked about. Where we'll do the platinum trophy plus all the add-on trophies. Use any of the ropes to jump into the ground. And I'm sure at that point we'll need to farm XP as well. Because even with DLC. Uh, we're probably not going to hit level 50 or whatever the next maximum level will be. Because I would imagine they would increase it. I'm stealing content? What? Did I miss Learn something in chat? You can give that trial another try if you want. What content am I stealing? Sorry. And I'll start timing you. What did I do now? What are you accusing me of? Stealing XP strats. Imagine how lame speedrunning would be if you couldn't use strats of others. Plus, you cannot own a fact you can take on. or a method of something. <laughs> Go down a rope into the grounds, and I'll start timing. Speedrunning is very much a community effort. Without the community. The greatest times will not be achieved. It's Groundhog Day for that trauma test. <laughs> sure. You can't win. There are other. I mean, I know what Groundhog Day is, on. but would you guys feel be mad at me if I told you I've never actually watched that movie? Pick a rope and slide it's one of those movies that everybody talks about that I've just never watched. It's on the list of those movies. There's a few movies where I'm like a little bit embarrassed to admit I never watched. Groundhog Day is definitely on that list, unfortunately. I do have a movie backlog that I'm slowly working my way through. And so uh, maybe one day I'll get to Groundhog Day on that list. I think it is on my list of movie backlog. But I only watch like one movie a week, so it takes a while to get through. Uh, really? The time I actually mess up, I need. <laughs> it turns out I'm out of muscle. Learn from perseverance. Is but yeah, many people always say Groundhog Day is one of the best movies ever made. Go down a rope into the grounds, and I'll start timing you. Do, 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 do. Or certainly up there amongst like really classic movies. That's why I would want to watch it eventually. 
You have not seen Office Space or Zoolander? I've seen Zoolander, but not Office Space. I've heard the name before, but I haven't heard that much talk about it. Pick a rope and slide down to begin the trial. Not sure what Office Space is exactly, but maybe if I see some clips of it, maybe I've seen that, but. Can't say I've watched the movie or know much about it, I must admit. You're up for another hunt. Pick a rope and slide down to begin the trial. Slowly but surely, working our way up. You should give that level there 42. Other trials you can a long on. way to go. As each level gets a thousand a XP longer every time we complete one. <laughs> do 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 Learn from you. Perseverance is the mark of a good hunter. Pick a rope and slide down. Need to buy car. some machine muscle here in a bit. The good thing about this EXP farm as well is also that there's a merchant right next to you when you're doing this. So once you run out of a resource, which is always machine muscle, uh, you can just go ahead and buy some. Because he's right here for you to grab some. Try that tri there are other trials you can take on. Pick a rope and slide down to begin the trial. Don't restart from set and set jump up and talk to him. I think I tested that like climbing up to him was like slightly slower than just restarting from slave and sliding. The wall is uh, the wall that is between him and here is taller than it looks. I guess if you were doing this on PS4, it probably would be faster because of loading times. You should give that perseverance is the mark of a good hunter. But it's a good thought. But uh, I don't think it would be worth it, unfortunately. I'll start the try. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the good thing about this method as well is the, as you can see, the termites are spawns the exact same way every time. So. You know, <laughs> you, you can give that trial another so trial. you don't have to think about where you shoot him either, because it's always the same. Shoot the belly and shoot the, the canisters on the butt. Start timing you. And if you miss the belly, uh, hit the belly on the second shot, and then use a tear blast arrow on the cannons above, so you get some components removed as well. Sun waking back up rather than climbing? Yeah, the maybe. There are other trials you can take on. You could certainly time that. Slide down a rope to begin if somebody the were to do a platinum run on PS4, it probably would be faster to find a way to get up faster, whether that be the sunwing or find a climbing way to get back up. I'm sure there's some quick skip you could probably find. I'll leave that to whatever ps4 runner you can't win does this run if they trials you can take on are interested in doing so use any on ps5 restarting from ground. save is for sure faster so yeah once we are done farming xp by the way um 
Then there's only two things we have left to do, which is shoot off 100 components. The easiest way to do that is get some tear blast arrows, go to a herd of grazers, and just uh, shoot off their canisters. Slide down a rope to begin your trial, hunter. And then once we have gotten that trophy for the 100 components, then the last thing we have to do is just go to Scalding Spear and get a die for an outfit. And that's the final trophy. But that is literally all that's left, and time-wise, we should definitely be sub-7 hours. There are other and hopefully sub-645 as well. That'd be pretty dope. Go down a rope into the grounds, and I'll start timing you. Because, uh, I did this XP farm quite slow the first time I did a run with it, which was the PB I'm comparing against, so we should definitely save some time. On my, compared to PB, by the time we're done with this, perseverance is the mark of a good hunter. We're about to hit level 44 when we kill this Tremitosk. Go down a rope into the grounds, and I'll start timing you. And that's level 44. There's five more levels you to go. Win. Think you're up for another hunt? Go down a rope into the grounds, and I'll start timing you. How many tremors is it per level? It's like, uh. It's like nine or something, right? There are other trials you can take on. Nine or nine to ten, depending on how the XP lines up. Down to begin the trial. The West had YouTuber in uh, I don't know if he's done it for Forbidden West, or maybe he will at some point. Learn from you. You can give that trial another try if you but, want. But uh, there was a YouTuber. I always forget his name. That uh, down uh, down on Horizon Zero Dawn literally grinded XP until uh, he hit level ten thousand, which was the maximum level you could achieve in Zero uh, Dawn New Game Plus. And that was also farming hunting ground over and over. There are other trials you can take on. I wonder if somebody is gonna be crazy enough to do that feed in Forbidden West. I don't know if we have gotten con I guess we haven't gotten any confirmation yet on what the maximum level is in Forbidden West. We know you can go above a thousand, but I don't know if we have know for sure if ten thousand is max or is the same maximum you this time around. Perseverance is the mark of a good hunter. The only reason why we learned that ten thousand was the maximum in Zero Dawn was because it came out on PC, so people could look at the code and see it. Because up until till that point, nobody has obviously bothered to grind it out. <laughs> You should give that. Tr there are other trials you can take on. Because obviously, you know, it could literally be endless and like, you know, almost endless level. If the developers didn't really put a hot cap in, but more like a just having a standard memory cap or whatever you call it in coding, then that <laughs> could be extremely high. Learn from your perseverance is the mark of a good hunter. We're we about to hit level 45. Use any of the ropes to jump Look at the, the pace we had here. Goddamn. The sheer pace. It's insane. I have 51 Tremitas left to kill. Thank you. Doing the math, greedy. <laughs> Perseverance is the mark of a good hunter. So, if anybody wants to do a countdown in chat, feel free to do so. 
<laughs> so I guess this is uh, 50 to go. Oh, we didn't have level 45. We just did now. Now we're at level 45. Do, 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 do. You can't win. Think you're up for another hunt? Pick a rope and so I guess then now I could also say that uh, since in all likelihood we seem to be getting the sub 7R platinum run today, which was the goal for this, then uh, tomorrow and Friday I'm probably going to be going back to the Ghost of Tsushima grind. But then on Saturday we'll do the speed run with cutscenes for Forbidden West. You should give that. Think you're up for another hunt? Pick a rope and slide down to begin the trial. Uh, no, there's no level 50. Like, it goes from 49 to 50. You know. I guess the last level is 49,000 XP. When is 100%? Uh, hopefully towards the end of August. But uh, we'll see. Learn from Depends on how things turn up. Hunt. I'll definitely start learning it towards the end of August. Of the ropes to jump With how things rounds. are looking right now, I think that's going to be the case. And then whether or not I manage to do a run in August, we'll see. Because it's probably going to take a little bit of a effort to learn. I'm not sure how long it takes to learn, but we'll find out. But hopefully towards the end of August. Try that trial. Think you're up for another hunt? Do, 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 do. Trial but yeah, I think that's gonna be the plan right now. I know we met all the goals for uh, the donation goal, so we have a lot of challenge runs to get through. But I'll try to keep them more or less on the weekend, so most people have a chance to watch and also i don't want to do multiple challenge runs Can't back win. to back you give that trial another try if you because, want uh, you know one challenge run is already tiring and i want to make sure i have good energy for every challenge run so um that's why i'm spreading them out a bit because uh well, I never anticipated that the, <laughs> the donation call would be met in an instant. Uh, you should give me your that is still crazy ride. to me that that happened. <laughs> so, Pick a rope and slide but that's why I'm spreading the them out a bit. But if everything goes according to plan, which we know it probably won't, but let's say it does, then hopefully all of them will at the very least be started before Last of Us comes out. It's only the Spio only one that's a bit of a question mark on, because I have no idea how long that's gonna take. Learn from your think you're up for another hunt. But I have a feeling it's gonna take a long time. <laughs> Pick a rope and slide down to begin the trial. Because I've never tested any Spio only stuff. So I have no idea. <laughs> That perseverance is the mark of a good hunter. No problem, fancy bands. To begin your trial, hunter. No damage, Spioni run? Obviously not. <laughs> but be silly. I think we just hit level 46. We're getting there. Yep, 46. You, can't win all you can give that trial another try if you want. No, oh, we are on a machine muzzle. Time to go shopping. Use any of the ropes. To jump into the grounds. I'll start the trial. <laughs> do, 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 do. But yeah. So um, tomorrow on Friday, I assume we are, or um, I'll do some more Ghost of Tsushima. Hopefully I can get that world record in Ghost of Tsushima in the next two days. That would be awesome if that goes, because I'm really close to getting it. You should so uh, we'll see. There are 
other trial. And then on Saturday, we'll do the Forbidden West speedrun with cutscenes, which is basically the normal speedrun, but I'll uh, watch all the cutscenes and not skip the dialogue. So basically a speedrun where we get the story as well. Which is also nice, because it's always nice to refresh the story and hopefully remember some of the details that you might have forgotten, because it's impossible to remember everything. Especially because I've still only done two full story playthroughs, so there's probably some uh, story details I might have, you know, gotten lost in the time. Do, 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 do. Other challenge runs we still have to do due to the donation goal, Friend just to friend, remind you, we are doing you green weapons only ultra hard. And then we got the Horizon yeah, series yeah, speedrun, where we'll do a speedrun of Zero Dawn, Frozen Wilds, and Forbidden West in one go. And then the final one is, of course, ultra hard be only for Forbidden West. Uh, do, 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 do. All the challenge runs will be on YouTube. You can't I just didn't want to post a platinum run try. until I had a one I was satisfied with. And if I get sub I seven hours on this one, which definitely trial. looks to be the case, then uh, I'll definitely post it. In case you want to watch the entire thing. No hit marathon. <laughs> you should give that perseverance is the mark of a good hunter. Go down a rope. I mean, no damage is definitely also something we have to try at some point in this game too. But you know, we got plenty of time. There's a long time until Horizon Three comes out, so we'll have time for all of it. Don't you worry. I ain't going anywhere. Learn from there are other trials you can take on. But yes, you I'll upload all of it to YouTube. Start the trial. So don't you worry. Obviously on the VOD channel, the full runs, challenge run and full will be uploaded and I'll try to make some more highlighted versions for uh, the main channel. Is my plan with challenge runs and stuff. <clears throat> try that try there are other trials you can take on Use any of the ropes to jump into the grounds I'll start the trial oh, if I do a no hit run it's also going to be a no damage run basically I'll probably call it no damage I feel like no damage I don't know why it's always called no hit and like souls and all that. I just feel like no damage sounds better to me. You can't win. So similar to what I did in Zero Dawn, I'll probably just refer to it as no damage. And same rules as Zero Dawn, where if I ever lose any HP for for any reason, the run is dead. Which would probably be very similar to a no hit run, but not quite. Because there are technically attacks in this game that you can get hit by that doesn't actually do any damage. <clears throat> you should give that. You can give that trial another try if you want. Because that's how I, that was the rules I used for Zero Dawn, so I'll probably or definitely just use the same rules for Forbidden West to keep it, you know, uh, similar. Because that was also the rules in Zero Dawn, for example, if I get hit by the sound attack from a Watcher or a, a Long Lake, that wouldn't count as the run over because you don't take damage from it. But in the run where I was fully successful, uh, I didn't get hit by anything either. But there were some attempts where, for one reason or another, I get hit by a sound attack of some sort. 
and didn't take damage. Try that trial. There are other trials you can take on. Use any of the ropes to jump into the grounds. I'll start the trial. A hit is a hit. <laughs> well, where was that argument when you watched me grind no damage runs for months? Doing zero dawn 34. Where was those argu arguments then? Because I don't remember hearing them. Hunter. <laughs> Use any of the ropes to jump into the grounds. I'll start the trial. Do, 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 do. We are at 47, so once we are done with 47 here, we got two more levels to go. I'm sure you made that argument. To be fair, you probably did. And I probably had one way or another you to dismiss it back then. Is the mark of a good hunter. But if that's going to be the tone you guys have, and trying to change the Use rules and all that, to jump into the then I'll oh, just not do no damage. <laughs> I will turn this car around, okay? <laughs> and then we'll all go home. No Disneyland for you. <laughs> Learn from you. There are other trials you can take on. Use any of the ropes to jump into the grounds. This is my primary YouTube channel. Uh, no, but it's technically my second channel. It's just I have, as I'm sure people are about to make fun of right now, I have just not really uploaded to my main channel in a long time because various reasons. I'm done giving excuses, so I'm not going to give excuses. But yeah, I've just neglected my main channel for a while. If you want. But yeah. Uh, Hopefully that will turn around, but I've said that many times, so don't believe a word I'm saying. One day I'll prove it, prove that I can upload to the main channel. <laughs> but yeah, the idea is the main channel is for more edited videos, more dedicated to YouTube stuff, where the VOD channel is just where I upload, you know uncut Down footage the from the stream that's the my best speed runs the world records and full runs of challenge runs you know literally just the raw footage plus uh first playthroughs and stuff there are a few of those on the channel you should give that think you're up for another hunt Oh, we're at level 48 now. To jump into the Woo! I'll start the Two more levels to go. Can you guys feel it? We're getting close to the end. Oh, is the hype building up in chat? <laughs> Are we feeling? <laughs> Learn from perseverance is the mark of a good hunter. Oh, I'm out of machine muscle again. Oh, I felt like that was quick, but maybe I didn't pay attention to how much I used. Yeah. I guess I just went a bit on autopilot there. Trial hunter. Oh. Let go, Aloy. Just drop down and fire the bolt. But yeah, the general idea behind my channels is uh, is that, uh, like I said, the main channel, which is just called Elcare TV, is to have the more edited stuff, more like highlighted versions of my speedruns, tutorials, other jazz like that. Um. Stuff like that, and then the VAT channel is more of the just raw footage from the stream, aka the best runs or my PBs, you can't win. Think you're up first playthroughs or full challenge runs. Use any of the ropes to jump into the ground. And then the I don't know. At some point, I don't know. Maybe at some point I could maybe see myself maybe having a third channel that would be more like for clips. 
Because I've been thinking about what do I do once I start doing like some arena stuff. Because those videos are really short. I think you're up for another hunt. I'm not sure if I'll put them on the Pick a rope and slide down onto the bot channel or maybe make another one for clips. I don't know. Something to think about when the time comes where I might do some. Uh, where I'll do some uh, arena or similar type stuff. I wonder how many components uh, the arena goes on TikTok. Uh, sure. Learn from there are I'm still very proud to say that I've never on. used TikTok. But I'm starting to feel alone on that. But I'm sure many of you in chat, chat probably are similar. <laughs> I'm never using TikTok. Although I will say I have opened up slightly more to the idea of like shorts on YouTube. Maybe I just like YouTube better for short form content just because YouTube actually supports their creators way better than TikTok does. I still say I haven't watched like a lot of shorts, but I guess I don't mind shorts as much as I used to. Because I used to despise shorts on YouTube when they showed up in the... If they showed up in my subscriber feed, I would be really annoyed. <laughs> but YouTube changed it now, so they no longer show us up there. Ten more. Let's go. You can't win. You can give that trial another try if you want. One more, and we on the final level, everyone. Use any of the ropes to jump into the grounds. I'll start. When we kill this one, it'll be the final level. Cue the music. It's the final countdown. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. We're leaving together. <laughs> you should give that. Think you're up for another hunt? But don't remember, once we have level 50, we still have a few more things to do. Or two more things to do. This is obviously for the level 50 trophy. So as soon as we hit level 50, we get a trophy for it. But then after that, we still have to farm a few more uh, components shut off. Because uh, there's a trophy for shooting off 100 components. Which we'll be farming on some grazers, because those are the easiest to shoot components off. I'm not sure how many we're missing, but I guess we'll check once we hit level 50. And then uh, after that, once we hit, get 100 components shut off, the last trophy is to... Trials you can take on. Then the only trophy that's left after that is to get an outfit die. For one outfit. Trial hunter. You might remember before the greenhouse, like way back when we were like... I think it was two hours into the run. We picked up some flowers. For an outfit die. Well... That will be the final trophy we get. It's purchasing the outfit die. And after that, the platinum trophy will appear on screen. Go down a rope into the grounds. Which hopefully we can get sub. Hopefully we can get a get a nice sub 345 on this. I'm out of ego shells. Gotta remember to buy those. So we can uh, craft more um, tab blast arrows. Because we are gonna use those on the graces, obviously. You can't win all think you're to up shoot off as many canisters as possible. Pick a rope and slide down to begin the trial. Getting close to the end. What a successful run this has been. There's not really been any big mistakes in this run. Like, I've been playing super well pretty much this entire run. I feel like the only two big mistakes I would say there have been was, uh, was the fight in Tau where I lost a minute because of the bombs not exploding, which 
it was kind of annoying, but it is what it is. And then, um, and then there was the second rebel camp, the one close to the Daunt. But, uh, there are other trials that I, for some reason, just on. can't get to work with the really fast strat on it. Go down a rope into Whenever I learn the hundred percent run, I'm gonna figure out what I need to do exactly to get the fast strat on that rebel camp. Because I gotta admit, I just don't understand how it works. <laughs> but uh, I'll worry about that for Hundo. Mater blasting? Eh, I don't know. I'm just gonna farm it out here. Is the mark of a good hunter. I think it's two more, right? Use any of the ropes to jump into the grounds. I don't know if it's enough. I'll just kill an extra Termitusk to be safe. I got plenty of time to work with, so I'm not too worried. All right, one more, and it's level fifty. You can't win all. There are other trials you can take on. Go down. Why is it one more? Was it one more after this? I'm not sure. I think this is the last one. We'll find out. Going to be fifty short? Nope. Don't think you calculated the little extra XP you get. <laughs> it's not the exact number it's showing, but there we go. Level 50. Uh, let's shop here. Uh, resources. We need eco shells. Clean muscle. The tab blast arrows. Oh, crafting the wrong thing. There we go. Let's head up to the Gracers. They're hiding all the way up here. Again, time ends when the Platinum Trophy appears. Uh, should I check how many components I'm missing? Nah, I should just farm it out. We know the trophy hasn't popped, so... I guess I can quickly open here and click 80, so we're missing 20. 20 components. So just gonna make sure I get some clean shots to get as many canisters as possible. Obviously they run away, but fine. Oh, really? What was that movement? Yes, run with your back turned. How did that? I need to aim better. Wasting time on this. Well, the close rider is really getting a good chase here. That one definitely hit. We go. Should be able to just fast roll back and then I think they spawn again. Let me just check. 92. So one more round here. And we should be good. So eight more components. Look at that line up. The butts are perfectly in position. Could have crafted so I could have shot right away. I've been made. Not a good angle. Hey, there we go. It's a scalding spear. Here we go. This is time. Sub seven hours and sub six forty five even. Let's go. And not even close to forty five. Now we just need to buy an outfit die, and then that's the platinum. Or an outfit die using the flowers. Uh, uh, which one is it? It's one of them where we should have it. There we go. That's a nice color. And what's the pups up? Hi. 
Six forty-one thirty-eight. Don't pass by again. GG, it's done. We got the platinum run complete. Let's go. What a crazy good time, actually. <laughs> kind of unbelievable you can get the platinum that fast, but GG, let's go. Let's go. Woo! Hope you guys enjoyed that run. Well, let's just make it official here. Let's show the trophies here on the PlayStation. As you can see there, 95% on Forbidden West. And we got the Platinum Trophy. Obviously, the New Game Plus trophies were not included. I mentioned that in the beginning of the run. Because all we had to do was get the Platinum. And just to point that out again, since somebody might not have heard it, uh, once they release some DLC, some story DLC, there will most likely be new trophies as well. And when that happens, we'll do another run where we include all the trophies, not just the ones for the Platinum. So don't worry, we will be doing a run eventually with New Game Plus included, or the New Game Plus trophies included, plus DLC. But for now, this run was just about the Platinum. And here you can see all of them are right here. Every single trophy, these in the beginning, I believe, are just the story ones. And then all the ones for helping quests, all the side activities. All the machine trophies here. Some of the various other stuff down below here. Yes, indeed. Platinum trophy in under seven hours. And there's the final trophy we got. Use dyed flowers to unlock and apply a new dye. But there we go. Platinum trophy achieved. And since a lot of people are probably going to ask, what percentage are we at? I actually don't know. Let's quickly have a look. Here in the notebook. Any guesses in the chat? How much percentage do you think I've completed in the game? Before I click down. Because remember, 100% and Platinum Trophy percent is not the same thing. Or Platinum, tro platinum Trophy is not the same thing. So any guesses in chat? How close are we to... Uh, or uh, what percentage are we at? In the game progression menu. I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds to put up some guesses. Because I actually have no idea. I don't think I ever looked after a platinum run. How close it or how much percent it is. I gotta be honest, I actually think it's below 50. If I have to guess, I think it's below 50. Because I, I, you really don't get a lot of percentage from doing this run. So let's look. Oh, it is actually above 50. It's 54. So you only need to complete 54.21% to get the Platinum Trophy. <laughs> and you can see right there how much we have completed. Because in this run, we only did what was required of the Platinum Trophy. So yeah, 54.21%. Wait, 34 got its spot on? Was it his first guess? It actually was. Goddamn. Well, somebody's got some bragging rights in the chat. <laughs> nice job. But yeah, 54.21%. And since I'm sure a lot of people also are interested, here's the stats page. If you want to look, apparently the in-game timer says 6 hours, 11 minutes, and 49 seconds. Usually we don't use the in-game timer in speedruns because it's very unreliable, but you can see it's right there. And in case you want to see some of the stats, they're on screen right now. Which machine did we kill the most on the run? Apparently Charter at 21. By the looks of things. Scroll down a bit further here. <clears throat> Do -do -do -do. Let's go all the way down here. Humans killed 99, hit search 26. Terrible hit shot percentage. <laughs> But oh well. But GG. There's the stats. There's the game progression. 
You can even see in machine catalog we scanned one of each machine because that's all the trophies requires. None of the as you can see, none of the variants needs to be scanned. If you want to get 100%, you have to get every variant. But there we go. That's the GG. Platinum trophy done in sub-7 hours. Or more specifically, 6 hours, 41 minutes, and 38 seconds. GG. GG.